training. Um, my training goes to like eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all online and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna play that night. I gotta see how I'm feeling. Cool. You could always just play it by ear. If... Yeah, I might just play it by ear. Um, and I, unfortunately, I can't. I can't reschedule to like a Sunday because I already have plans on the 25th. Um, I have to go to a 40, 40th birthday party for a friend of mine. So, um, so it could be possible that we might just cancel that on the 27th. Okay. okay. But I'll let you guys know. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, if my training is like really easy, because mm-hmm. I'm, you know, taking it from home, um, then it should be fun. Plus, I hate the cancel after we have only been playing like once a month on average. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How I mean, life happens. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, yeah. not only that, but like, there's a lot of unforeseen things with my kids, so I know I, I'm guilty of canceling a lot. No worries, man. There'll be more of that. <laughs> I mean, it gets better. Yeah, Eric's campaign is going to catch up to uh, the number of sessions we've played. In right, this. yeah. It's, I it's know, happening. we just hit 30, I think, uh-huh. in that game. So, <laughs> wow. There. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All over you guys now. Six. Six. We just got to six. Six low. Just turned six very recently. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, we we could be done with this. It all depends. I mean, it, it, it done depends with what? on what you guys do. The tools are there. You just maybe don't realize them mm. that they're there. So we don't know how we far do. we actually are. We're probably a lot further than we think we are. Cause... You are a lot further than you think. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. If we just like start go, like having some focus, we could get that quick. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I think I've told the. <laughs> To somebody um, before, maybe it could have been Kevin or Jay, but um, you know, you, I, you had you had done things a, a little bit at all. Yeah, like, you did. Mm. Uh, like Grud Hog is supposed to happen after. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, in the adventure, after hand, uh, after the Eye of the All Father. So that's okay. Mm. No worries. Oh, I mean, no I way. kind of put it in your path, so it's not yeah. partially the blame. Shit. But anyway. I think we're all here now. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I'm still playing from my laptop, and my this camera quality is, is um, it just slows down my wireless connection too much. So, um, so bear with me. Maybe next session I'll actually play from a computer now that my son is sleeping. Yeah, no problem. All right. Is he doing well, by the way? I guess maybe I shouldn't ask that. <laughs> Why not? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Why not? We're probably recording right now. I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> he might I mean, watch we this. are. Yeah, he might watch us watch someday. This. You guys were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, he's doing he's doing perfect. He's doing fine. He's, okay. doing, uh, he's doing great. He's talking a lot more. He's getting a lot uh, a lot of help from his um from his therapy sessions. So, uh, and he's going to sleep. Um, you know, no longer at midnight. So, we're trying to get him to bed consistently for the last couple of weeks by nine. So that's been working out for us. We had to skip his nap to do it. That was the problem. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, there's Jay. I think Jay's the only person here in the group with kids, so I think he knows what I'm talking about. Soon. I understand. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Oh, you got no. some some news? <laughs> no, I want to. I really want some to. Plans. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> 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 I'd like to get pregnant, at least like by the end of the year next year. What's really funny is like. On my screen right now, Ryan's face is frozen in like a very, very serious look. <laughs> it hasn't moved at all. <laughs> it it hasn't moves. even. It's not even frozen. It's ju- it just black for me. Dang it! <laughs> yeah, it's yeah like, I have to say, now I wish I see like, it. Oh my god! What? Why? <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I don't look at oh me. Ryan's the one who wants twelve kids. Twelve kids. <laughs> Ryan wants twelve kids. Oh, we don't live in depression anymore. You don't need twelve. <laughs> You, you don't have to put him to work. Yeah, his face is frozen. It's great. <laughs> I, th- I think he did say he was lagging. Yeah, he hasn't he said did. anything. So, yeah. anyway, um, do you guys have any questions? You guys understand where you're currently at? Um, you want to recap last session? Anyone? I can recap. I can recap. Or... I- I'll recap. Eric um, can recap. I could use the inspiration. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, there you go. Um, so let's see. Last session, we um, left after fighting King Meadbeard and his bees. Um, <laughs> Gay bees. And it was, Gay bees. It was already like nighttime when we left. Like there was some weird time distortion thing going on. Um, and uh, during the night, someone approached during Zorana's watch uh, in like long robes and gave her this long bow, which she said was a gift from Old Snarl. And the long bow is called Titanfall. And I sensed that somebody was scrying on us and I got concerned about it. Um, and we found out through someone's history check that Old Snarl is an ancient red dragon who's in control of the north. So probably trying to help us take down these giants. Yeah, Absolutely. also known, his name is also known as Clouth. Mm. And, uh, okay. and we decided Put that, that I can always, I don't know if I you revealed know. that last time or not, but I don't think you did. I don't, I don't think so, but that name does sound familiar. Yeah, I feel like we've heard about this guy before. I'm sure. I, I know we've heard about Red Snow before, and I um, feel like we've heard the mention of the word, the name Clouth. So, uh, A.K.A. Clouth. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Um, and also I have removed curse, so if it is cursed, you know we're we're cool, we're fine. Yeah. Um, that was our decision. Uh, <laughs> the other. So then we go to Westbridge. Westbridge had been destroyed by stone giants who we saw tracks heading off into the northeast um, towards the Deseret Hills. But we decided not to follow them because we've gotten sidetracked enough and they'd probably gotten <laughs> plenty far away. Um, so, But we did find some weird statuettes. I think the one that I kept was a, of a little cherub baby angel guy peeing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There was a busty woman and a man humping a goat as well that got picked up by other party members. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we found a gentleman along the road named Grundig the Gnome who was selling magical pipes and magical tobacco, which Kareem indulged in. Uh, <laughs> and then we saw a castle floating in the clouds and some uh, creatures uh, like... Birdmen, bird. bird yeah, birdmen that were like, like getting. They're like exploring and like uncovering these ruins. I think that they were was like below taking them. stuff to and from the castle. Or yeah, they were just, like transporting yeah, to stuff. The, yeah, to, to the castle. So we approached and we're kind of confronted by these cloud giants who told us to go away and started throwing rocks at us. Jerks. And you know we don't take kindly to giants throwing rocks at us. <laughs> so clearly we engaged. <laughs> And uh, then they started the throwing thing. us in this giant pit trap that was there. And one of them's got a telekinesis spell going that he's been just picking us up and dropping us in there. And Thornbur has just been <laughs> meticulously picking everybody out <laughs> of the hole <laughs> that he's been throwing back in, which is Thornbur starting to feel like it's a Sisyphusian task going on here that maybe he <laughs> needs to give up on. And that's where we left off. <laughs> well, I saw your your message in the, in the Discord chat saying that you, were, you felt like uh, you were already defeated or something. <laughs> yeah. Although now I'm looking at my stuff and like I didn't cast a single spell last session because all I have done is get people out of this hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're probably good then. Time for the yeah. battle to begin. Got a lot of heals. Yeah. Which is, I mean, and that's not true. I cast my um, spiritual weapon and I cast a heal, but. There's only one more so Birdman. Okay. Yeah, there is, but he's 200 feet up. Uh, uh, that that's doesn't our, matter. Our, our, uh, <laughs> uh, that's the so I don't know if um, you remember this, but all of the bird creatures, the Aracocra, all looked exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, all right. So we're at the top of the order here. You're in the middle of combat, like he described. Um, actually, both cloud giants currently have spell effects uh, that they're concentrating on. Cloud giant number two is the one on the edge of the pit with the telekinesis. Uh, the other one, you're not sure what he's got, but it looks like kind of like these swirling winds are all around him. So, Zorana, you are up in the order. Um, you're level... Actually, you're 40 feet above the ground. No, 
That doesn't sound right. Thornbear's 40 feet above the ground. Zorana's on the ground. Yeah. I'm like, I sad. can't fly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when could I fly? I could fly. I was... <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I like, just pulled her oh, out with like the it. rope. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, and so I'm like flying above, and she's down there. And then I started <laughs> dipping back down because Balabar just got thrown in. Um, All right. Oh, let me. <clears throat> so any questions, uh, Kevin? Cause, no, uh, no. That was, that was a really good recap. Yeah. Oh, something mm -hmm. I there was one important point that I didn't mention, which was there's that Aarakocra that is like fleeing back up yeah, towards yeah. the cloud castle. Yeah, so he's about 200 uh, feet above the ground at the moment. It seems like he's going to like report back or something. Yeah. Uh, so you're at the bottom yeah, of the pit. Yeah, that's right what I'm now. thinking. Whoa, loud music. Okay. I was getting the music back on anyway. Um, I think that uh, Aarakocra is on item number one on the list, so I'm gonna try and take him down. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Um, Bo's got like a max range of 600, right? Mm hmm, so I can yeah. pretty yeah, much can shoot him. <laughs> uh, uh, is it within 600? I can hit him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, well, reach him. Hitting is another. Matter. Whatever, okay, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're well, and block him, so you have definitely a clear shot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a moving target that's flying, you know, straight up toward the castle, which is about a mile high above the ground. Um, for Titanfall, it says I could use the, the the property on it once a day for advantage on range attack. So oh, I would, the accurate property. yeah, the accurate property. I would like to use that. Yeah, go for it. So I'm gonna. Ta da! Ta da! Do I hit right. the bird? Oh, yeah, you hit the bird. Oh, I hit so that you, bird. So you take aim, you're like beating, you're like slowly drawing up your bow in line with your arrow, and then you let go, and as the arc of the arrow uh, strikes him just as he flies right into it, um, you deal nine damage to him. Is he human now? Uh, he, He's a humanoid, it's just an extra he board. He's a humanoid, but so. what happens is that once your arrow hits him, um, it's kind of hard to see from this distance, but you see that immediately his wings kind of like flatten to the side of his body, and his body starts to tilt off to the side, and it looks like you, you struck him dead. Um, and oh. he begins to descend in like a spiral down to the ground. Feathers yeah. and limbs just, you know, in line with him falling down to the earth. And within a few seconds, plop, plop. You just see a burst of feathers on the side of the temple. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye! And then Winter will hit this cloud giant. Because he's within five feet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, and AC 25 is definitely going to hit the cloud giant. Um, 13 damage. Damage. Yeah, uh, it, it rolls automatically. Nine plus four. All right. Uh, so let's see. Thirteen damage recorded on the cloud giant as um, he headbutts him into the leg, and then he's gonna make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, which crits? All right, he's good. Dang it. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, and Wait, now we're yeah, no, Kareem. Yes, we're good. Yeah. I don't remember if I turned my whip on or not. You I'm did. pretty sure you did. Okay. I'm probably did, but you probably. Yeah, did. I did. I definitely <laughs> did. Okay. Die. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> whip him. Whip Keep real my dice. Good. I'm not gonna only use them. 23, does that hit? Yes. 26, does that hit? Two hits. Cool. Whew! Oh, 14 wow. plus, what's the 13, that's 27? 27 total. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, so two fiery lashes uh, on this guy's legs, and you start to light his shorts on fire. Uh, he <laughs> is still alive. Um, but he's got to make two con saves. So let's do that. 
the dry cleaners are going to hate you. <laughs> uh, and he passes both of them. What the hell? Yeah, Giants have guy. high constitution. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... They're very hardy. All right, anything else, Kareem? Nope. Okay. Uh, at this point, it's Winter's turn. All right, Winter. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him with your stuff again. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen. What? Well, yeah. With Another again, there. same damage. Thirteen. Another thirteen damage. So Winter follows up his previous headbutt uh, into the guy's ankle, digging his ant antlers into his foot. Um, another con save for the giant. Giant's still alive, but mm -hmm. looks like in really bad shape. Like he's bleeding all over. His pants are on fire. He passes the con save. <laughs> Dang. Push him into the pit! Get me out first. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, it's actually, um... It's actually the giant's turn. Oh. Question, what to do? What to do? You just check something. My telekinesis. Alright, so it's gonna be his turn. I think what I'm gonna have happen here. Creature's turn check. Are you composing there? Yes. <laughs> action each round for the duration. Alright. Um, I don't know if I wanna use my action for that. So, um, Kareem, he's going to reach out with his uh, Morningstar. I'm sorry, with his, uh, with his hand. He takes the hand off of his Morningstar, and he, he tries to grab you first. Do it. Um, he's going to get a 22. Does that hit your AC, Kareem? I think that it does. That does. Does, right? Okay. I need you to make me a, a dexterity saving throw as he lifts you off the ground and uh, winds up to throw you. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's gonna fail. Oh. Okay, so uh, Kareem, he's gonna chuck you down the pit Fuck uh, nice. as he basically picks you up and then just like slams you down like a football into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> that's, that's, it's like a oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's just rude. Fuck. Kareem. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so, because of the what added the force, you're going to take, take 74. Because basically he's fuck? throwing you down, plus you're falling. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm glad he didn't do that. I would have exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all would have exploded. <laughs> Kareem is literally the only one who could take that kind no, of hit. No, I, I could take that hit. What? I've Why are you? has a lot of HP. I have 84 L. Yeah. Ridiculous <laughs> amounts of HP because they, some of them are melee. <laughs> you just feel like a huge meaty fist like grab around you, cream. You're like, oh shit. Your eyes go wide. He takes you above his head and then he just chucks you down like, like I said, like a football, like just pumping a football. Um, he just scored a Lovely. touchdown. Yeah, you, you you hit the ground with like a huge smacking force onto the. Uh, Onto the you know wet mud and rain because keep in mind it's currently um, raining if I recall and the wet uh, ground is like super wet down there. All right, uh, that's all he was able to do this turn. Uh, actually, I might move. Oh, Kareem, you are currently uh, here at the bottom of the pit. Welcome to the pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's gonna. Uh, good to have you. He does see Balabar at the bottom. He's gonna move to here to prevent Balabar from seeing him. Mm. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now it's Blinky's turn. <laughs> All 
uh, Blinky will fly in and uh, aid whoever attacks next so they have advantage and then fly out. Yep. All right. So he's like trying to swat the owl away, uh, <coughs> fails. And uh, at this point, it's Thornbear's turn. You're 40 feet above the ground, Thornbear. All right. And this pit is uh, 60 feet deep, right? 80 feet deep. 80 feet deep. Okay, so if I fly down, and I have a 50-foot rope that I'm holding. <laughs> so, if I, so if I go down, I don't think I can get there in this turn. If I go 60, 60 feet down, it'll still be 10 feet dangling and up. You can maybe make can, that jump. You can run and jump and uh, grab it. Yeah, so I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fly down, um, so that I'm in the pit. Like, I'll use all my dash to double my movement and get. So I'm like what's 20 your, feet down in the pit. What's your speed? 30 feet. So I can oh, go like okay. So you're down. only you're still 60 feet above the ground then. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah I'll be 60 feet above the bottom. So the, my, bottom, the, of the bottom of the rope will be like uh, dangling like 10 feet. And as I go on my way. Uh, I will look over to the side and just kind of nudge my um, spiritual weapon to go with my bonus action and make an attack against him. It gets advantage. Okay. Which will have advantage. It's steep enough that you could like run and climb it slowly. Cut him. All right. That's correct. Um, and I'm actually going to kind of be in between the two of them, if that's all right. Just kind of right in the middle of the pit. Oh, right I there. did that. I, I'm sorry. I did that damage wrong. Um, Kareem. It's actually 68 and 86. Oh. So it'd be 35 plus another 22. So it'd be total 57, not 74. Hmm. You got that, Kareem? So you yeah, get back what? 17. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yeah. I'm getting 17 HP? Yep. Yeah, you gain 17 back. Cool. Yeah, I did the damage That's wrong, it. sorry. Thank you. Uh, Alright, so yeah, so... This attack is a thing. Thank you. Hit. Oh. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, 22s are gonna hit. So it does 8 force damage. So it cuts into them. Oh, actually, plus 10, because of my Radiant Soul. Mm -hmm. So, 18 force damage. Nice. All right. Uh, go ahead and tell me what happened. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, stop throwing people in the pit, you jackass. And then it just like <laughs> skewers him. And then he falls down. And I'm like, and I just go, nice. And then I go into the hole. Nice. So, uh, all right, cool. So he, he falls down to the ground as you pull out your spiritual blade out of his uh, temple. And he just like his eyes are just like rolled back in his head. And he's. He's on his side, bleeding from his mouth. I go, I, and then I call the brain. And then I call down to Cream and Balabar. I go, I swear this is the last time. The guy just died. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up. All right. You better. Um, so, are you done now, Thornber? Yes. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, Balabar, it's your turn now. So, can I reach that rope or no? Um. So the rope is currently dangling 10 feet above the bottom of the pit. Got it. Um, so no. Then. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you want to try and do some cool acrobatic? With my two foot self, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you would have to jump. Uh, Run up the slope, feet. jump. <laughs> oh. yeah, jump up eight feet. Would I be able to misty step up to the rope and grab it? Or would that be very mm. difficult? No, that's, that's totally fine. Um... Simple dexterity check. Really, very really easy. Mm -hmm. we'll see. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah, that's it's what I want to try to do. It's uh, it's raining, so that's why I'm making it a, a, a little bit of a roll. And you're in combat. Right. So uh, acrobatics or deck? It doesn't matter. It's the same roll. Uh, no, not acrobatics. It would be uh, dexterity. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah, you need a save oh. throw. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, without advantage, um, yeah, that's, that's going to fail. Well, that's a bonus action, so um, uh... I'll cast Levitate on myself. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can, because you know, when you cast oh, two spells right. in a round, one right. has to be Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. You 
You got it. Yep, I will uh, do nothing. I will stay there on the ground. In the <laughs> <laughs> but it, but you are underneath the Thornbird. Technically, we're next to him. Mm -hmm. I'll yell, lower! <laughs> <laughs> A lot lower! <laughs> but ten All feet lower! On my way. Uh. All right. Um, so at this point in the turn, it is Pelfrey. All right. Um, Giant's next. Chantia, send me your owls again, but, 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 but stay this time. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'm summoning my owls because the giant owls to keep Blinky company, of course. Let's see here. One, <laughs> two. Massive owls. <laughs> You're making Blinky blush. <laughs> he thinks uh, she's in charge of them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, minions! <laughs> oh, two, three, four, that, that's a lot of owls. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the Can fuck? Be... There's more owls? She How many fucking be... owls are there? All the she owls. Perch on one and ride it as a map. <laughs> All the owls. Okay, so I could summon them 60 feet away. Oh, you are too far. Okay. <clears throat> and these guys will uh, start flying over to this Mr. Cloud Giant that's left. Kind of go in and swipe through. Uh, okay. I don't I know. Move them one at a time and make. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. You can do them. That's fine. Is that wall like short enough that I can see the the head of the giant peeking up? Uh, yeah, you can see half of his body. So he's got okay. uh, only, only a little bit of cover plus two AC. Plus, there's a aura of wind around him. Mhm. Mm Which I'm sure also affects him. I'm gonna put two in the back just around the pit so that um Thornbird's yep. not the only one trying to get these guys out of the pit <laughs> so they'll uh fly down a bit so they're then... flying down into the pit yes those those two back there are flying down oh nice kind of help out um they go about. Let's, hold on, let me check the movement. They have a sixty-foot fly speed, so. Oh, so yeah, I could get them to the. Yeah, I could get them to the bottom. So if anybody wants to climb on an owl, they can get you out the next round. I'm just <laughs> holding my. I'm just holding my dingy rope. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to attack. <laughs> All right, and then these these other six they did their attacks. So let me. Oh, well, hold on a second. What's their reach? Oh, uh, <clears throat> they uh, it's a five foot reach. But um, what they do is do a flyby. They're going oh, they in have and then um, yeah. Okay. So this is their ending spot. So two will still be engaged, and the other back away. Okay. Um, nice. What crit? So that first guy, he's definitely gonna crit for uh, eleven. Okay. Second guy, we need an eleven. Why am I only doing the city G? Oh, well, no matter. 22 to hit for four. <clears throat> uh, okay, we're wounded. 18 for five. Uh, 18 to 15, hit. 15, I don't know. going to hit. So that's another 10. And this is the last one, which I think misses. 13. Yeah, the 13 will miss. All right, so it looks like four out of the, um, actually five out of the six. And... No, four out of the six hit. 
All right, good. Yep. So I've recorded all that damage. He he gets clawed to the face. Uh, these are talents, so uh, it's like a swarm of giant owls <laughs> just, like hitting him all over his body, and it's like he's trying to swat them away, but they're just too quick to fly out of his reach. Are you finished? Yes, that's it for me. All right. I just want to check one thing. He does not like you right now. <laughs> <laughs> like all these fucking giant owls. <laughs> 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 uh, let's just uh, check something here. Oh, all right. Back. I want to give up my awesome car. How high off the ground are these giant owls? The cloud giant's roughly about 20 feet tall. Um, I pictured them being around his heads. So uh, they're up in okay, the... so they're like uh, 20 feet off the ground, essentially. Yeah. So he'll be traveling underneath them, in, in essence. Yep. Yeah, well, he really wants to hit you, so... Um... Don't even think about it, big guy. Yeah. Oh, I need to make, <laughs> like, four con saves. <laughs> 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 uh, well, actually... You don't fail con save on a one, um, and for him to fail, he's got to roll a zero, which is not possible. What? <laughs> How rude! How? I'm not gonna bother. You got to do over twenty-two damage to him. Twenty-two damage or more for him to actually more than that. Yeah, for him to actually be forced to make a roll. So you know what? He is going to um, provoke four attacks. He's going to hop over the wall, um, and he's going to try to get within close range of you to hit you with a rock. Okay, so he's provoking from four? From four of them, yeah. All right. Ten more feet. Oh, seven's going to miss. Well, 23 will hit for 15. 19 will hit 5, and that's so terrible. <laughs> okay, so it looks like, uh, wow, we're gonna hit him twice uh, for a total of 20. Okay, uh, recorded. He throws a rock at you at this point. Stupid rocks. <laughs> gonna hit AC thirty. Uh, what the hell? Fuck. <laughs> That's high. <Jesus. I. laughs> Good thing your AC is thirty one. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. So, so he takes a rock in two hands. He kind of holds it above his head and he chucks at you with two with a two handed throw. Uh, you're gonna take uh, thirty six bludgeoning. So I need you to make a con save. The DC is um, eighteen. Buffy and look out! Oh, it's too late. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, con save. I have. At least that dingy rope's still there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. My dingy That's rope. That's true. Uh... Um. I have advantage because I have warcaster. I hope it helps. Yes! yes. <laughs> Owls! Everyone maintain the concentration. Alright. Nice. Uh, he does not look pleased when he sees your owls are still here. Um, apparently he is familiar with magic enough to know that, you know, you're commanding them. Alright, so, uh, done and we're now top of the world. Zorano. He I still has it. an aura of, uh, wind around him, Zorano. He's mm, well, he's that might close. that might affect my ranged attacks, is what he's saying. Mm. Go at him with a dagger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I could probably technically get that close in one round and hit him. Do you with have a dagger. any melee weapons? I have daggers, and I have my <laughs> quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> Daggers in the quarter stand. <laughs> you have the best melee weapon. In yeah. Winter. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Hold on. True. How far can I get? 
Uh, oh, fuck, okay. Okay. Ha fucking ass. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no! No, he's stupid. I'm trying to do the measuring thing. <laughs> I know how to do it, I just barely did it. Okay, okay. <laughs> fucking god damn it. <laughs> I'm actually retarded. Whatever. <laughs> it's not working this time! Oh no, okay, I got it. it. I got it. I was trying click to middle it, click. click it every... That's why I'm retarded. I was trying to middle click. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, I can get right there. That's not close enough. Dang it. But that's pretty close. What Whatever. are you trying to do? You're trying to get into the <laughs> Yes! <laughs> What's your, uh... I can dash as a bonus action, so I can get within 60 feet. Which is just 5 feet. Not close enough. So... Oh, uh, I see. Dang it. Yeah. yeah. 25 there, 30 to there, and then the Boop, correct, yeah. How confident are you with your ability to jump over it? <laughs> <laughs> Not that confident. <laughs> You're running in though, huh? Uh, yeah, fuck it. I don't know what this aura is like, but... Wow, I've never seen her do this. <laughs> Run over here. Just, okay, I'm just gonna go just, just bow? yes, just shy of ten feet. That's my comfortable. Okay, you range. can feel um just hints of the wind in front mm -hmm. of your face. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try and shoot the bow because <laughs> I can't get any closer. Go for it. <laughs> you still hit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Because you're so close. Yeah, totally. Big target. So yeah. 11 damage is all right? Yes. All right. Uh, so being right in his face, you just take square aim at his crotch and you hit him right in the face. <laughs> 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 you better not throw rocks at my friends. <laughs> he looks pissed at you, but he's uh, currently still focused on, on Belfrium. Anything else? I blow a raspberry at him. All right, Cream, you're currently <laughs> prone on the ground, covered in mud and rain. What the hell happened? <laughs> uh, I'll try to get up. Yeah, the wind's knocked out of you. You get up, uh, use up half your movement to do that. Okay, and uh, is the giant bird next to me? It is. It's actually on the ground, kind of with like its head bowed, I imagine. Um, you know, waiting for you to hop onto it. Right, of course. A giant bird. Why not jump on top of it? That sounds good. Really <laughs> and then I jump on top of it. Alright. Um, yep, so you're currently mounted. Um, and cool. I, I'm not sure about this, because I rarely ever see mounted combat in fighting. Um, but I think you might be able to do something. So let's see. Um, I mount it. I really mount it. Okay. So I'm getting a little influence from the uh, the last encounter that we had. <laughs> so here, this is, uh, is, is this a male? Is this a male giant owl? Um, I, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna post the rules in the chat for, for mounted combat. Uh, why is this important? Because it's only a move action for you to mount it. Once during your move, you can mount a creature that's within five feet of you. Uh, doing so costs an amount of movement equal to half your speed. Oh, that's, so fine, that's fine. Then. That's perfect. So you use mm -hmm. half your speed to stand up, half your speed to mount it. Yeah. Um, and then you still have an action. So while you're mounted, you have two options. You can control the mount or act, allow it to act independently. Really? Yeah. So you can control the mount Get only up. if it's... Hey yeah, I would say that these are trained <laughs> around to accept riders. Um, Can I dash? The, the initiative <laughs> of the mount changes to match yours. Um, and you have three action options. Dash, disengage, or dodge. I dash. All right. So that's perfect. So um, you'll be... I'm going to move you on top of the... Hold on a second. You know what? Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to make it so that you're on top of it. So stop, stop moving your figure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just give me a second here, Ryan. I just want to. So you could like a still attack the guy in this turn. Possibly. Well, I'm dashing. Well, it's so 80. No, I have yeah. No well, but it, that's that's the mount's action. But it has three action options. Mm -hmm. Really? He's doing yes. his action to make it do its action, though. It doesn't. Right? I don't think it says yeah, that it's your it... action to command them. I think that's a little excessive, isn't it? Excessive. Good. It just or can't attack. Bad. If if you were on it and you weren't controlling it, it could also like do other shit and attack. Yeah. So uh, that's a good point. What he brings up. I'm probably screwing this up, but I think it makes total sense. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so while you're mounted, you do have two options. It doesn't say what it costs you to do that <laughs> for some yeah. reason. Um, but I'm going to say, you know, it's probably for free. Uh, because if it's not telling you it's cost and action, then you could probably just do it for free. So... You yeah. have the dash, disengage, or dodge action. So I'm assuming you're dashing, which means you're 20 feet from the lip of the pit. Okay. Okay, and it has its own yeah. movement. So would I be able to get to the cloud giant? Well, now it's acting on your initiative. So you're you're basically getting a free a free action to control the mount every turn to do one of those three things: dash, disengage, or dodge. So do I get it to move right now, or do I have to wait till next turn for that? Well, technically, yeah. you have an action left. Um, so you can do whatever you want. You have an action and a bonus action left. Uh, but your so action I, cannot be, it's, it's for you. It's not for the mount. Okay. So that my action, I have actions now. Got it. And yeah. so what so about the giant owl? The owl, does it, does it, sorry. This is so technical. We're like, <laughs> I think what he's trying does to ask owl, is, can he get the owl to the move? Does the owl get its action after my turn or during my turn? Uh, during your turn, it acts on your initiative now. If that's true, then I can have it move right now, correct? You um, can make it dash and move from the way it reads. Well, then I'm right making now. it dash towards the giant. Yes. Like one right action now. and right one now. move. Me dash towards giant. I think, I think <laughs> the disadvantage is that if you didn't do that, it could still be doing like flybys and shit. Like what, that's what you're giving up. Or if it was something that could attack, like... You know, that's, I think, what you're And doing. if Belfrian goes down, we fall. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. But you're basically just making it a vehicle of movement rather than... I can't like move you out. You're, you're, you're 80 like feet down, by the way. It says uh, a controlled mount can move and act even on the turn that you mount it. So basically, um, but the thing is, it moves as you direct it, and it only has three action options. So you're not... I don't think you're able to make it attack. I'm not trying to make. I'm not trying to make it yeah. attack. He's just trying to move. He just wants yeah, to move. He wants to fly it out of the pit. Yeah. So, uh, from your current position, you have 40 feet of movement technically, because it's got a speed of 60. So, if you wanted to move it right next to the giant, that's totally fine. Isn't he remember, 80 feet down in the pit? No, he flew 60 feet up. Oh, okay. Right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. And now he's using his other action the mounts action to dash again. So what are you going to do, Kareem? Are you moving the 40 feet? Yes, he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, he's, uh, he lost the connection or something. Yeah, he did. All right, I'm going to assume then that he's moving uh, like adjacent to the creature. Yes. Right over here. All right, perfect. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, he's trying to move, I, and if he can't attack with his whip, he will do that. So he just wanted to move and also whip. Yep. Mm, pretty impressive. Uh, <coughs> yeah. The 12 will miss, but the whip, the first one, uh, will hit. It looks like he rolled uh, 13 total. Yep. All right, and how, how high off the ground are you? Uh, not very high because I probably just that, jut uh, off, the, just off the ground. Yeah. Belfrian could lose concentration at any moment, so I'm, I'm <laughs> ten feet kind of off the ground. Ten feet. Ten feet. Very good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Sorry for all the other uh, rules. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm fine with it. It's fine. 
I haven't seen mounts at all. As long as never. everybody else is. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen mounted combat. It's interesting. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Um, very, very epic moment there. And, uh, <laughs> uh Supreme's <laughs> turn, you're done. Uh, it is now Winter's turn. Alright, Winter, get him. This, this is 20 feet. Sort of. Whatever, he's gonna charge him. So just keep in mind, guys, uh, I'm not rolling concentration because he's got a plus 10. Yeah. So at the minimum, he's gonna roll an 11. That means you gotta do at least um, 24 damage to him for me to roll. Plus charge. How much is charge? 2d6. Nice. So you move in Nine perfect. Plus eight for plus charge. Four. Uh, so it looks like 13 plus 8, 21 damage. Dang it! Dang it. So close! Antlers. He takes his antlers right into the Cloud Giant's calves. Uh, Cloud Giant does not look pleased at the moment. Cloud Giant 2 is dead, so he's out of the order. Blinky? Just question, what's that giant fireball looking thing to the north? I think it's oh, just, that's there's just a reference. fireball template. Yeah, we got it. That. Perfect. We can leave it there because I have spells coming up, but I just want to make sure it's not a <laughs> giant raging inferno north of me. <laughs> uh, Blinky will, right there. So Blinky will do what Blinky does best and uh, distract the giant uh, by flying in front of its eyes and then get the hell out of it. Okay. All right. Join your um, owl brethren. You just fly by, so there's no attack of opportunity. Correct. Uh, now we're at Thorbar. You have a giant uh, owl below you. Yeah, I look down at Balabar and the giant owl, and I just shrug. Oh, I'm, and... you see me eyeing up that mountain again? <laughs> and I pull my, <laughs> kind of pull my rope up, and uh, <laughs> uh, so I am 20 feet below. So I'm just gonna fly 30 feet straight up. Um, and actually, I guess I'll fly to a point. So I'm like 10 feet above the ground, just right above the side of the. Uh, the side of the hole there okay. um, and uh, enjoying Blinky's advantage he's been giving me I'm going to try and pay it forward as I <laughs> cast Guiding Bolt at uh, at the Cloud Giant uh, okay got it uh, I'm going to cast yeah, advantage. It. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah I'm going to try and keep that advantage rolling with my Guiding Bolt. I'm going to cast it at third level. Oh, why did that not cast? Uh oh. oh there we go. That should do it. Um, it's not working. Let me just roll. Let's see. For some reason, the button's not working. It's 4d6, and then each higher level is 1d6, so it's a total of 66. Radiant. Nice. And if it hits, oh, I just rolled the damage. I didn't even roll the attack. <laughs> Let me roll that. One. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm, fairly, I'm fairly certain. You uh. <laughs> um, let's see. One. That's my spell attack. Bonus is eight. And uh, okay. And I have advantage. So twenty, I think, is gonna hit. Yeah. Nice. So I do 29 damage as the Guiding Bolt blasts into him. I think it does more, because you're flying, right? You oh, yes, thank 10. you. So it does 39 damage. Ooh. Here's the concentration. Come on. 39. There you go. There's the concentration. <laughs> so 39 damage, that means he's going to make DC 19. Oh, he's looking hurt. Right, he's looking pretty got bad. This. I got to roll a 9 or higher. Let's see. Oh, he passes. Gets a 26. Eight. Um, and... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I mean, I was gonna pay it forward, but then I see my, uh, my spiritual weapon floating over there, and I just can't help myself, and I go in for a spiritual weapon attack. <laughs> paying it forward fuck to it. the spiritual weapon? Paying yeah. it forward to myself. <laughs> uh -oh. And so, yeah, I'll make my attack. The 17 hit? Yeah, it does. Nice. Uh, so that'll do uh, 12 damage. 22 damage? I don't think it'll... I think it's only once per turn. I'm pretty sure, or else it would be kind of crazy. Yeah, once per turn. Okay. So, so, it, so yeah, it's just 12. 
Yeah, and so like, um, first you, you <laughs> slam a guiding bolt into his chest, huge burst of radiant energy just explodes out onto him. And, and then the uh, spiritual blade comes in and like slices his cheek. <laughs> he, just, ah. he puts his hand up to his cheek and he looks at you. Um, and uh, does not, you know, he says something in giant, something along the lines of a curse in Serrano. Uh, I just kind of look around. Shit on your dead whole neck or something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. Don't Uh, you talk to Thornbur that way? (laughs) Not understanding his trash talking, I'm just going to kind of look around at my companions like, you seeing this shit? You seeing this shit? I I see this shit. He's looking pretty bad at this point. Um, And I think you're finished. Yep. Uh, So, Balabar, you're up. Uh, he's half my move to get on the mount and have the mount fly up and then dash and land right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm on the ground. I don't want to stay flying. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not meant to fly. Weird. Um, and then uh, now well, actually I... he'd be he'd be on it right. So what's that? It's fun. I'll slide off it with the rest of my move. Um, so I'm on the ground. So the bird can go do what it wants on its turn. I think I lost. I lost you guys there for a second. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. So um, the rest of my movement, I'll slide off the bird. Oh, so, so I'm not dismount. mounted on it. So that way you can go attack or you know, hang out with its other bird friends. <laughs> and then, being pissed that I've been stuck in a hole for quite a while, I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and um, blast it to death. Get him. Yeah. Let me make sure the spell's working one moment. I don't think you could dismount in the same turn that you mount. Well, I figured if one was half your movement, the other would be half your movement. If you say I'm still on it, I don't care. But that was just my logic. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I don't understand why you can't dismount. So, it's fine. Alright, so... The right thing. Oh, I rolled horribly. So I'm doing it's a 20 uh, foot radius. I'm putting it behind it so it doesn't hit anything else, anyone else rather. Um, oh, you're so doing just... fireball? Nope. Uh, I'm doing a, a synaptic static. So it's an intelligent save, please. And the DC is not 12. It is actually, I don't know why it's coming up with that. The DC is actually, I'm going to boost it so it's 17. Um. Okay, let me roll the save. Where's the spell from? Um, it was from the same source as the the wind one that you told me about. Oh, okay, from Xanathar's. Yes, thank you. Uh, he does get a 19 on the intelligence saving throw. All right, so he takes half. So he takes 11 psychic damage. All right, what 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 do, what do people see? Do they see anything? Uh, it looks like um a giant. I guess it's psychic damage, so not really. Um, you would just basically see his his mind explode, <laughs> his brain explode really bad. All right. Uh, yeah, so he starts bleeding from his eyes a little bit, but uh, he kind of puts his hands up to his head, but he's still alive. Um, he manages to stay on his feet. Um, are you finished? Yeah, I give him the finger, and then I'm done. All right, <laughs> Belfrim, you are up. <laughs> Okay. Finish um, him. Well, yeah, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna my bonus action to just kind of move my spirit a little bit. There we go. Now all my allies are. Yeah, all my allies. Okay, and then I'm gonna cast a uh, healing word on myself. And now everybody who's in the aura, who's, who's hurt, um, you get 10 hit points back. Life. Life. Uh, yeah, so that's Balabar, Zorana, Winter. Or... Nope, I'm not hurt. Me neither. Oh, okay. I haven't taken any <laughs> hits yet. You guys are worried about this fight. Okay. Yeah, Thorber's <laughs> feeling pretty yeah, badass right now. <laughs> That was my bonus. Oh, yeah, I should have four giants. 
<laughs> Gonna use my move action to hide behind a boulder or a tree. Maybe three is the right mix. And I don't mind feeling like a badass from time to time. Let's get all these guys in here. I'm gonna peck your eyes out. <laughs> yeah, um, right. he, he looks like he's about to die. Like he's, he's got very few hit points. Uh. So just start rolling, man. All right. Uh, I think that's that's everybody. The other two are still mounted, so this is six. Twelve will miss. Nineteen for six. For six, he's still eighteen for seven. Six will miss. Eleven. One, two. There's one more. And a twenty for nine. All right, you can tell me what happens. That last one kills him. Hey. Yes, they just start swarming on his head and then clawing at his face and pecking at his go and slowly just ripping the meat apart and he collapses. Uh, nice. Alright. Yay. Alright, you guys have uh, successfully defeated Cloud Giants. Uh, high above, like I said, about a mile above the ground in the storm clouds um, as the wind aura around the Cloud Giant dies to nothing as he falls down to the ground quite dead. Uh, you still see the cloud, uh, the cloud castle lingering. Uh, it has not been warned. None of the Avercocra actually managed to reach it. Um, so that's that. The temple that you see before you is a ruined temple of white marble and alabaster. Um, what you notice is that the temple seems really fucking old. Um, it's it's in pieces. It's got no roof. Um, but the construction looks like it is sized for giant creatures. Hmm. Uh, and next to the giant itself, what you see is an excavated, um, sort of like a, not like a dungeon, but almost like a basement. And there's clearly a, um, like a 10 foot wide, uh, trap door sort of like built into the side of the temple on the ground. Um, that has a dusty, well not dusty, it's actually all wet, muddy at the moment, uh, staircase that descends into the basement. Mm -hmm. I wonder what, what they were trying to see, uh... fight, find here. Obviously they were here for a reason. First of all, can I just say how fucking badass that was? You guys flying out on those... <laughs> On those owls, with the fiery whip and the and that crazy static spell, and then the owls just swarming them. That was pretty. That was I think we pretty cool. Uh, I I wish that somebody was there to see that because that was pretty cool. <laughs> the problem is, one of them got away, right? No. No. You shot. I Are shot you sure? that no, motherfucker like down. Two hundred feet in the air. I didn't see where yeah. he went. That's that's him. That pile of pillars. I see so yeah. <laughs> That, that, that was time? him. <laughs> oh, Damn. he's very dead. He was so high up. That's impressive. I saw him what fall. Do I've shot things from further distances, remember? Yeah, that's true. Like that guy and... Uh... That was running towards us and Gredhug. That guy? <laughs> that guy. What? Where was that? <laughs> I, we were running away from Gredhug and there's the and butcher Walford. the butcher guy running towards us. Oh, God, no, no, yes. I was thinking about the guy the at... Womford uh... guy? <laughs> Yeah, Womford or wherever it was. The heckler. You shot the heckler. That's that. That wasn't that was from further than two hundred feet. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> should we go check this thing out? It's basement and stuff. Of course. Yeah, I suppose. Or should we look for giant catapults and try to just knock this thing out of the sky? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think there's. Bring a... it down. Hmm. It's too high like... for me to shoot. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't know if there's any way we can get up there. But... I don't know what bag you speak of. Owls. 
Oh, I think Kareem's got. I think Ryan's got lag on oh. on his end. Mm -hmm. Certainly, bring go on owls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long do they Another last? An hour. Oh, we could okay. probably get up there. I'm sure we could get up there. Atop we could probably, some owls. probably rest and then go up since we're going to be attacking a citadel of giants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, sure. is it a good idea to go up there? It's like they could just not. drop us off. The, right? Let's let them come down to us slowly. <laughs> just kill them in waves. Right? Like That's I feel true. like that that pit hurt pretty bad. I mean, I assume I got wings, so I didn't have to worry about it. And at that point, my wings disappear. Uh, <laughs> Poof. <laughs> But, but, you know, uh... Well, that's yeah, true. I guess we don't we're not there. concerned with what's going on up there. We're more concerned with what they were trying to find down here. Yeah, and, and yeah, those wings, by the way, that. that's on a one-per-day thing, so... Mm. No more wings today, so okay, maybe Okay, so we... you're screwed, basically. So, yeah, so I'm like, I'm like <laughs> you other wingless folk now, so... <laughs> maybe, we, maybe going up there is not the best move. No, no. Seems... They're, they've it's, been after artifacts. Let's since definitely night, so. check out this <laughs> these ruins for some artifacts. Yeah, let's head down. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Zorana, you um, start descending the stairs. You find um, the stairs. It's a very dank, uh, musty smell down here. Uh, kind of dark. I think you have dark vision. It's mm -hmm. a half elf. Um, and as you're looking around, you can see that this place does look like it was explored. Um, you do find, actually, what looks to be a battered... Not battered, but... Kind of, like, crusted over with, like, like hard rock and and, uh, and crystal. Um, mm. metal box. It looks like maybe at some point in the past, the box was valuable. Or sturdy but at this point it's um it's pretty rusted over and, and crusted with rocks and, and, and crystal um, doesn't look like there's a lock on the box at all and just a simple lid that you can pull off i'm gonna pull that off it's pretty it looks like um like it was pulled off previously so it comes off relatively easily and inside as you're looking at it you see um a red glowing light shining up at you from um, five, actually six bottles. Uh, the bottles look to be of a, like a cloudy crystal. Um, but as, I don't know, are you picking one up or are you just kind of looking at it? Uh, I'll, I'll pick one up to look at it. Okay. Well, as you pick it up, you notice that the, the, the bottles itself, they look like they're some sort of like cloudy crystal. And inside you see a red uh, glowing liquid that when you agitate it becomes a little bit brighter. Hmm, a glow bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I shake it some more. Yeah. Uh, as you shake it, you can see the red <laughs> light within starts to swirl and glows really bright, uh, like intensely bright, almost to the point where like it's um, Ow. it illuminates your face and the room entirely. As it does so, you notice that the room itself seems to be some sort of uh, old lab, except that everything is, is kind of broken and deteriorated. Uh, is there like a bunch of photos on the walls and stuff? No. Like it's a red room. Of, a photo lab. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like an alphabet. <laughs> you, see, you see alembics and um, you know other odd-shaped glassware. Uh, that all looks pretty, like, in pretty bad shape, but all of it is giant-sized. Hmm. <laughs> in the corner of the room, you also see, uh, two empty, a uh, set of, of chains and manacles that are currently unoccupied. Those look extremely rusted over and, 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 you know, rotten. Not rotten, but rusted. I mean, I can deduct that this was probably some kind of testing facility yeah that's what it looks like to you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the anything else of interest inside the rooms um yeah go ahead and make me an investigation check mm -hmm. intelligence <laughs> oh. uh, nope. 
Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't see anything. You're like, okay, this looks like that's mm, pretty yeah. cleaned out. Yeah, I got some cool bottles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bottles well, are like beer bottle size, by the way. Hmm. Uh, well, I found this. Look, it's glowing. Yeah. You hoist it up, and uh, <laughs> it's glowing. And wow. Uh, Thornbur, um or anybody with uh, profession alchemy, you can you can make an intelligence check. Oh, <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Not profession alchemy, alchemy tools. The... Yes, 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 yes. Well, well, I think that looks like a glowy red substance. To me. Yeah, you're fairly <laughs> sure that's, that's poison. Can I roll a light? Do you can I roll Arcana D. on it? <laughs> um. Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we want to be careful with these glowy red substances. If it glows like that and is red, uh, you know. Is it is it going to explode? Well, it's hard to say. Yeah. Is it poisonous? The, the, the first thing you think of is... It's uh, hard to say. Did you shake it? Yeah, I so shook it. That's the question that comes on your mind. Oh. Right? Did you shake it? A lot. These other ones, see, they're not glowing. I didn't shake those ones. Yeah, I shook this one, and I shook it some more. <laughs> Take a few steps away, just in case. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Try okay. drinking it. Do you want to smell it? it smells red. <laughs> <laughs> it smells yeah, red. they have corks, but they're like wine bottle corks. Like they're mm. really jammed in there and. Oh. Of... Uh, okay, never mind. We can't open uh, this. Yeah. Well, it's useful. You could probably transfer the liquid to a better bottle. Um, it's not that much liquid. At the most, maybe four ounces. Mm. I wonder if it, uh, like, if it's reusable. Like, if the glow will go away and they're going to just shake it again for more glow again. Balbar, what do you think? I have no clue. I would have to uh, look look at it for a while. And uh, a while... <laughs> so you're saying these are lights that glow, so they're kind of some sort of glow light. Maybe we could use them. Let's call them glow worms. There you go. I would say I would call it like it'd be cool if we had it on a stick, like a torch, you know. Then it would be like a glow stick. But we don't it, we don't have like a stick mm -hmm. bottle. We just have a mm -hmm. bottle bottle. So it's not like it's a glow so... bottle. If you strap it to your arm or leg, it's constantly agitating until it always glow. Mm -hmm. It's true, and because it likes being shaked, maybe it's like a dancing mechanism. Like if you dance with it, mm -hmm. Kareem, it will somehow you wanna... unlock here. the inner power. Here, Kareem, you want to dan dance with one? You're a good dancer. Uh, what's going on? Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm coming down from that big high from flying on a bird and killing a giant with my whip. <laughs> That was pretty happy. This thing glows when you shake it. Do you want to dance with it? That sounds retarded. Let's do it. <laughs> Here you go. I hand him a not glowing bottle. <laughs> well, they they always sort of glow a little bit, mm -hmm. but as you shake them, they glow. It glows a more. More. I take it. What is does something happen? Did you shake just draw it. this picture? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shake it. I shake it. Now drink it. Okay. I yeah. drink it. <laughs> oh, you're drinking it. We only got six. six. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Yellow. I don't, wait, I don't know about he drank the that last drinking thing. it. Wait, how, you this got the cork? This motherfucker drinks everything you put in his hand. <laughs> 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 I hope he drinks to the drunk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard me, uh, Cream, but go nope. ahead and roll, roll me a d6, please. He did. He did. I did. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm not. I'm not seeing that at all. It's probably lagging. No. I see it though. Well, I'm lagging. It's a three. I see it. I, I see, see it. it. It's a three. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Joe. We all see it. <laughs> yeah, Joe. I'm getting a, a page on responsive message. Oh no. Yeah. Hmm. Refresh. I don't know, I'm lagging, I really so it could be my fault. If, if it fucking pisses me off. 
It could be my fault because I am lagging like really hard. No, if everybody else saw your rolls and I'm getting this message, I'll just I'll just restart my page. Um, so just give me a second to come back on. Okay. But um, yeah. So you drink it and like you you, you first it tastes like uh, really sour, um, <laughs> like a really sour wine or juice, and it burns down your throat and then immediately it starts to feel better. And you feel the wounds on you start to knit and close. And uh, you've drank a potion of superior healing. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> so That's you get cool. Back, you so get how much do I get? Eight, so what do I roll eight, for eight, that? 8d4 plus 8. Wow. Ooh. 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 I'm sorry, I couldn't. I'm lagging. What do I roll? 8d4 plus 8. Correct. Okay. Um, yep. I'll do that. Well, hot damn. Mm. Nobody else has proficiency or wants to take a closer look at these bottles. I tried. I offered Arcana. You said no. So well, you said you wanted to roll Arcana. Arcana. Uh -huh. Right. I think I'm the only one bottle. proficient right. with alchemy supplies. Yeah, I'm not. I'm proficient with herbalism. <laughs> Which, to be clear, I, I can only follow a recipe. I cannot identify things that I don't know. <laughs> um, as, right. ha as is evidenced by this potion. All right, well, why don't I do this? Why don't I give everybody then a perception check? Yeah, sorry, guys. These aren't magical enough for me to know them. Perception? I don't even see them anymore, frankly. <laughs> something you find in the <laughs> desert? <laughs> He's what? Where? <laughs> God, 23, 23. Look at that hole over there. <laughs> Ooh, they glow. Ooh. Because I can't see the rolls yet, just tell me what you got in your perception. Kareem got, I got 23. 23, 23. Oh, wow. Uh, Everybody, everybody else? else got like four. Thor, everybody seven. Else. I got a 12. On the only I got anything four. was... All right, Kareem, what you oh. notice when you take a look is that um, the um, one of the five bottles that remain um, seems to have a seems to glow a little bit more than the others. The, the liquid's slightly darker, despite the cloudy uh, nature of the bottle that's stored in. You notice this. I drink it. Just kidding. <laughs> I pick it up and I, and I take a look at it. What's it? And I try to identify it, apparently, because I've got a 23, you know. Why are you looking at, why are you checking that one out? It, uh, it is, uh, I don't know, after this drink I just had, by the way, that was totally a healing potion. It, it is, I feel great. I can see that. And, uh, I noticed that that one is glowing I... a little bit differently. Oh, it's probably is weaker. It? We should probably keep it separate. Yeah, yeah we should probably throw it. No, Probably don't throw it. it. It's it glows still. It's useful. I'm just kidding. What? Uh, can I take a look at it? Does it, what? 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 What's the difference between this thing and the other ones? It's like darker. Glow, you just, said. Just darker. It's it's darker and the glow is brighter. Darker liquid, brighter glow. And what color are they? They're all red. Yes. This could be a really good potion or a really bad potion. I don't know. We can have someone else look at it later. I'll just put them mm -hmm. away in the bag of holding. I'll keep this one. Very okay, rest, you keep that one. Let's not I'm, risk your... I'm keeping it. Okay, you're keeping that one. We now have four superior healing potions in the bag of holding. Well, I mean, it says to identify uh, potions. You take a sip of them, so... Get up. Get like... I take a sip. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, where where do you read that? Oh, let me get the page back one sec. <laughs> yeah, I, I have seen that before. That's in it's the, in the oh, GM basic rules PDF for fifth edition. Okay. And there's no check. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know this, but uh, <laughs> potions are an exception to using a magic item. Uh, a little taste is usually enough to tell the taster uh, what the potion does. So right. if it has a negative effect, then that also, you know, it's up Got to you. It. Yeah, so uh, this fifth potion is uh, stronger than the others. It is a potion of su uh, supreme healing. Oh. It's like, have you ever been to Taco Bell and then you get the uh, supreme burrito? 
No. I no? I don't think I've ever been to a Taco Bell here. In... Is that a Mulharandi thing? <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is. We have Taco Bells everywhere. Okay. But you've never heard of Taco Bell. What's a taco? The, I know the bells. What's a taco? <laughs> this is my new quest. I need to discover. You know what? It will never be there taco? anyway. It doesn't matter. It's it's just a place you can. Get can you food. draw it? No. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this potion is definitely the menu. <laughs> it's 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 a supreme version of whatever yeah. those were. If you look in oh. the magic items folder in the journal. You'll see uh, a potion of healing. Mm -hmm. You'll see what uh, you know the different types and how much the supreme one heals, which is ten d four plus twenty. Wow! Woo! Bam! What do we want to do with this? This is a lot of healing. Uh, keep it on you because I think you know you're the hardiest but of maybe us. Maybe Winter might need it. Winter can't hold a potion. I don't think Winter has any pockets. He, he put this he in your hand. Does he have any pockets? He doesn't have pockets. I've uh, I've checked. Um, I need everybody to make strong. a uh, perception check, please. Who? Everyone. Everyone. Oh, I'm getting better at this. Okay. <laughs> My perception is still strong. I'm I'm just on this potion high, man. I'm still looking for that Taco Bell. <laughs> Where's the Taco <laughs> Bell? Actually? Numbers, Rana, and Kareem, all three of you, um, almost at the same time, notice that a group of about a half a dozen identical looking um, blue feathered uh -oh. air crow crow are about um, a thousand feet roughly over your party. Um, and they're kind of flying around in a circle and observing. Uh... And <laughs> when they when they see you guys look up, uh, you see that immediately they start flying up back toward the castle. Okay, folks, I uh, think the party's over here. Uh, I think we should just get, yeah, get, okay. get away well, from here for a little bit. Go should hide we in, somewhere. Did we look in that other part of the building? Should we just look real quick to see what they were coming for? Yeah. Because we, yes. we went in the basement, but did we go in like the main area? Uh, yeah, we do know that these giants are like looking for stuff everywhere. So Yeah, let's go. So let's run. Can we just run in, like, the main temple area? Or at least hide under something, I don't know, you know? Looks like a well over here. Uh, did we explore this area? I, I was lagging a yes, lot. Yes, so that's where I okay. explored, technically. Okay. Yeah, so can we just run in, yeah, to the mm -hmm. main? Yeah, yeah, you have time. Um, as they're flying up back toward the castle, which is, like I said, a mile away, um, you guys are uh, quickly looking over... Uh, I'm gonna look in the well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a hipster. Sure, sure. You go check out the well. Um, you can make me. Uh, um, I would say you make me a perception check, Kareem. And everybody else who's inside the temple building, you make me investigation checks. Oh, oh my God! Really? Should have gone the well too. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Kareem. You look inside the well. It looks. Um, Thank goodness, Serana. It looks wet and slick on the sides, uh, but too too deep below. Um, you know, way past any dark vision you may have to see anything of value. And, okay, uh, I'm gonna throw the bucket down and start lowering it for no reason, and then bring it back up. Uh, <laughs> you can go, despite you can the, the image that you see, you don't actually see a bucket. Oh. Um, oh. The, the well looks completely old and deteriorated. There's no rope, no bucket, no nothing. I'm sad. Okay. You throw a rock. Sure the, the winch works. <laughs> but you can pick up a nearby rock and easily throw that down. Dirty winch. Did you no, hear me say? Yeah, I heard. Go ahead and jump to the other team. It's fine. Okay, okay, so you, you chuck a rock down and you... I don't chuck a rock down. Oh, you okay. don't? Okay, no, no rock. No rock. No problem. <laughs> uh, the, the rest rock, of you no with your investigation checks, um, Zorana being the highest <clears throat> one, um, the only thing that you find, Zorana, is kind of like a... Um, what looks to be... You're not sure, but it looks to be a broken comb. Um, it seems like it's made maybe out of ivory or some other type of um, potentially valuable material. Could be, could be stone. You're not, you're not a hundred percent sure. Um, but it's broken and mm -hmm. it's large, uh, even though it's only half in your hand, like because it's been broken in half, and it looks really, really old and deteriorated. So, like, is it like the, this big of a comb? 
Um, I have my video disabled. <laughs> oh, dang it. My, my YouTube channel was like super, That's a shame. You just missed the laggy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it? <laughs> I got my keyboard. <laughs> on her head. And I'm oh, brushing oh. my hair with a so keyboard. Her hair back with style. Yeah, you would say that, the, that it's about eight inches long. Uh, okay. comes good for your elk. <laughs> yeah, it's about... <laughs> But it's but it's broken and pretty much uh, unusable. Um, but it's you can valuable. You can, make me, you can make me a history intelligence check because you're the one that found it. Nope. And in fact, anybody anybody in the vicinity in that temple can also make me the same check if you see her pick it up. Hey guys, look! I found a pretty big. No, I'm comb. not destined to roll above a ten today. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found yeah, uh, pretty big so comb. It's, it's also it's, pretty. Well, there we go. It just looks like some, uh, you know, Ooh, pretty cool. but to Belfrian, um, because of the nature of where you guys are in and what you're looking for or what these guys were doing, which was they were kind of like scouring the area and flying things up to the castle. You immediately uh, what comes to mind for you is that they were looking for like, you know, uh, relics. And your history check is enough to know that um, Back in the day, way back in history, before the small folk, uh, which are humankind and halflings and um, other creatures like like that, uh, walked the uh, the north. Uh, giants had a had a kingdom called Obstoria, and this temple um, is probably a relic of that. And in other words, it's a ancient temple from that age. That's a damn old comb. <laughs> yeah, like thousands of years old, probably. Oh, probably well, has well. lice in it. I'm gonna walk into the no, they, they died off thousands of years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk into the temple with everybody else now. Okay. You see that they're all kind of standing around Zerana, who's holding what looks to be a broken comb made out of stone. Oh, nice comb. It's big. Yeah, yeah it's big. It's, the piece she's holding is eight inches long. Come the desert. That's what they used to say back in the day. <laughs> we ain't found shit. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yes. Classic. Classic. Yes. Uh, what'd you find All in right, the room, ready? guys? <laughs> I ain't found shit. <laughs> <laughs> does it, wait, does that does the comb have a rune on it? I'm sorry. No, oh. no, it's just like an old relic. We did not find a rune. There's on no the like comb. giant rune on it. No rune on the comb. Rune. Like every the rune other rune that we've gotten. It allows your hair to. A rune on the comb? No, no, no okay. there isn't. Oh, okay. Sad. Damn, I was down for some magic hair brushing. <laughs> <laughs> Stay straight for you. <laughs> right, well, well no should we get out of here now ever. since we're Let's gonna have get company the fuck soon? Out of here. Yeah, yeah. I Let's think hide wait, in before a cave. we go, did we didn't we have an item that like detects metals or something? Mm, I think that Harshnag has it because it was really big, right? We couldn't carry it. Yes. Yeah, it vibrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. What? What? We should have probably carried we should have probably figured a way to carry that because mm, that was too big, that too heavy. Useful. True. True. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe we could use that to look for well, any let's, other let's things that could keep be trying to head back to the hand of the nom and also probably hide under something so we don't get rocks thrown at us. Yeah. So, okay, here's a question. When we rode with uh, what's his butt, um, who's oh, the giant butt? we were buddies with? Donkey. Um, the cab driver? Oh, the no, the, the, the cloud the giant. The cloud giant. Cloud the cloud giant. giant. Zephyros. Zephyros, yeah. Zephyros. That, his castle went really fast, right? Like, are we going to be able to outrun this thing? Did well, if we through? hide and they can't find us, it's not like, you know. What if we put the hole they'll in They'll hang it? out. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, maybe we, maybe we should get a head start before those, air, those bird people get up to the top then. Mm-hmm. What's uh, the geography like? Are there mountains? Are there forests Caves. to go uh, Well, currently you're in kind of like a hilly um, area. I'll just kind of switch you to the map of the north for a second. Um, so, what if we heat up 
the the fi the uh, the cloud and burn it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds like a Taco Bell idea to me. <laughs> Let me know when you guys can see this map here, but you're yeah. um, where are we? Yeah, you're you're near the Star Middle Hills, which is kind of uh, bisected by the Tribor Trail. Um, I you see. Know, you okay. can travel through the hills or continue on the road toward Tribor. Um, but you're still probably a couple of days away from the old tower, or the tower land. Um, I will say, I will say, um, was something I was gonna say, but I forgot. Oh, you still have the owls, because Jay can maintain, uh, Belfer can maintain concentration up to an hour. That could get us so away. So let's quick. ride for an hour. Oh my God, yeah. dude! This you know, is the problem. Is uh, you can't put you can't put winter onto an owl. Oh yeah. But is winter uh, as fast? Oh, winter what can... if two owls? What if three owls grab winter? <laughs> in areas with their talons. There's enough owls. He has a 50 foot run speed, so you know if they have so a 50 foot fly speed. feed, yeah, fly yeah. speed, we can. We, we, yeah. speed. we can go winter speed. Okay. Okay, we'll just yeah. stay low to the ground then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can do uh, that. Can I just say, I think this is the most badass day we've ever had. <laughs> I was going to say, I can actually, uh, I can buy us 10 minutes of going as fast as we can. I can levitate winter, so uh, it doesn't weigh anything. We can stand on the back of one of the, uh, oh. the birds. <laughs> or I can just grab his horns and just... But then all of a sudden he's going to start weighing a bunch and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be it. <laughs> I'll just ride yeah, winter. That would be really hilarious, so... <laughs> <laughs> A couple, a couple owls can grab, can, can grab a levitated winter off the ground and kind of fly him along for ten minutes. Yeah. Done. At like top speed. Yes. Done. Let's do it. <laughs> Sounds good. Wait, oh, yes. So I mean, yeah. Ten minutes you know. of travel. That's that's huge, hugely far. It's like six thousand feet. You're and then we could dash during that. We got and like a off. mile in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like I'll cast levitate. Away. I'll cast a uh, levitate and we can get out of here. Sure. Nice. Um, are you traveling along the road or you're going along the hills? Country uh, roads. Flying as yes. we are. How long would it take to get to the tower? Uh, well, if you're traveling along the road, it's going to take you longer. Um, because but, the, there's a direct path through the hills to the tower. But through uh, the hills, you said three days? Hill. Is that right? Um, so yeah, it's about about 68 miles. It would take you two to three days. On I, I owl? On three days. Three days. Well, we can't on have an owl for an 24 hour. hours. Yeah. The owls only last an hour. I understand, yeah. but uh -huh. how far can they get in an hour is my question. <laughs> well, they have a speed of 60, so in about one round, 120 feet, 10 rounds, which is a minute, is 1,000 uh, and 200 feet, and then you multiply that by 60, so they can get about 60,000 feet in an hour. That's like a million hour. bajillion feet. So it's about 10 miles. <laughs> I cast it three times. That's basically like the whole <laughs> earth. That's three hours. Yeah, that's that's super quick. I mean, you three can hours do a whole at day fifth of travel. Yeah, three hours. Three hours of fifty three feet though. I only had winter. the one levitate though. Yeah, and then we fight another. And it only lasts oh, ten minutes. Oh. That's too much. That's too much calculating. So oh, I mean, moving at fifty feet, fifty thousand feet is what we would get at, right? Fifty thousand feet. And then we roll a random encounter, and then we uh, we end up fighting something. We all die. You can probably get to Tribor by nightfall if you were to do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. let's do that. And bam, you're done. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got spell slots to burn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, after multiple castings, uh, you travel north along the road and you reach Tribor. Uh, and my thighs are so chafed. Oh my god. <laughs> Those oh, Tribor have not shops? comfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Does it sell um, monkeys? What'd you say? He wants a pet Nothing. monkey. Nothing. You gone. Oh god. He wants a pet monkey. Every town. Are there monkeys? We've been to Tribor before. You really you have. To yeah. Play yeah. Remember in the old the lady? Campaign. Yeah. The old lady was Tribor. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't remember. How do you not remember? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how uh, Zorana got her bow, like a yeah. really cool bow and stuff. Yeah, but I got a we better bow. We did it all bow, by accident. Yeah. That's yeah. good shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one question you didn't expect us to to, complete. to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, let's God see knows here. we've done all the other ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me. Let me oh, Zinfeld's play. dead. Yeah, Zinfeld's dead. Oh, hold on. Zinfeld's dead. <laughs> Not like this. Oh my God, this. Zinfeld's yeah. corpse is just in the street so here. Let me, this is traumatizing. let me know if you guys <laughs> can see. That. Rest in peace, Zinfeld. We this love you. This is an old map. <laughs> so. oh. I had to re. I had to unarchive this. So Emin, I remember you're back. when Zinfeld was alive. <laughs> She's still Can you alive. Still see it? <laughs> uh, no, I coming. don't see us. You don't see you guys at all. No. No. You no. just barely yeah. deleted us. I saw you delete us. Scar is Elgar. Yeah. How about how about now? No. Still no. Ping us. Ping. Ping us. Shift are we in click. The middle? Shift click. No, where are we at? Your, your tokens click. are out there. Shift I didn't put your tokens on top. Oh. Uh, oh. I, we can see the map. We see yeah. the map. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, remember, um, remember when that guy we were we broke the news to the lady that her husband is dead? Yeah, that it, was uh, good. We were very God. insensitive. That's, that's right. <laughs> that was great. Um, and I just wanted to do one thing. Yeah, maybe we don't want to spend too much time in this town. I feel like we were not the let's, best people when we came let's here. Let's just last rest time. and go. <laughs> this wasn't our best they showing. Don't... <laughs> Who am I, I mean, that now, was anyway. an exact... <laughs> Don't worry about it, Balbar. I mean, it's... yeah. He, he too, Burfian. Yeah, just don't don't worry about it. We're good. Just go to sleep. <laughs> just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Climb onto winter and go to sleep. Shh. I see nothing. I see nothing. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't see any letters on the map, right? Uh, no. I see Tribor and big old bow. I see, no, we don't see, I see like Tribor. Markers, though, I see houses, 30 B. <laughs> I see West oh, yeah. Farl Ranch. I was trying to Ram get Ram Ranch. No, this is. Um, <laughs> just stop. This I was trying to get some place. things to show on the map, but it doesn't look like it was going to show. Can you can you see T19 down by the bottom? By the bottom. No. No, you don't see T19. It's near this. Evermore Way. This yeah, one. that's a good, good. good. Oh yeah, no. now I can see it. Wait, uh, yes. Actually, I was trying to do this like. For it's on like the right things. of the map. Oh was yes. It? Oh, oh. Okay. It wasn't T19. working. Oh. All right. Well, um, let me see if I can grab all these tokens here. More T19. Um, if you want, I mean, if you're not going to spend time here, then I won't bother. Oh, yeah. Now I see no. T20. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think the plan was just to sleep and go. Sleep here and then go. Okay. All right, and that's fine. With yeah. You. Yeah. Okay. So. Um... Saves you work, most importantly. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, this is a mm -hmm. sandbox world here, so if you want to stick around and well, do we have here, here, I'm more than happy to do that. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Uh, moving on, unless yeah. anyone else had anything they wanted to do here. No. B seventeen yeah. bomb. Yeah, so there's many, there's many. Um, leave their view. Uh, uh, there's a place. Uh, there's a there's a store called the Lion Share, um, where you can buy stuff if you needed to replenish any goods. Do they sell um, animals? Um, <laughs> let me check. <laughs> no, it looks like they sell. Just standard adventuring goods and other uh, general store goods. Is there anyone who sells animals in this town? Uh, specifically, monkeys? No. But <laughs> uh, they do sell Damn animals man. like horses. And um, that actually horses might not be a bad idea. Like that. Yeah. So if you wanted to buy that, you can buy that definitely here. Uh, you know, I thought of a good venture capitalist uh, idea, guys. So after we're done adventuring, right? Okay. We should set up shops of around all the major towns, mm -hmm. and we sell horses for rent. Mm -hmm. And then you can rent a horse, and you can bring it to one town. And then we and then we take the other horses and we bring them to other towns, and so people can rent from town to town horses. Horse oh, wow. rental. Horse rental. Great idea. 
Would you yeah, call it thinking. like uh, we would call it uh, a City horse, horse horse surprise? <laughs> you know, hor, hor, enter horse it's... surprise and enterprise. I'm not. I don't know enterprise. Uh, enterprise. Is it enterprise. good? Enterprise. Yeah. There's horses. An enterprise. How do you yeah. how do you put horse? Yeah, like maybe... Budget all... horse rental. Yeah. After all that chafing, I feel like you could call it hurts. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. It probably hurt after all. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how can I turn Hertz into a horse pun? Um, that was really bad. I feel like that was great. I would, I would to, give him, uh, I'd I, give I, him I, inspiration I token for that. <laughs> <laughs> give him another inspiration uh, token. The one thing Thornber wants to do today is go find a bar where like everybody is and go to the bar and just tell everyone the story of us coming up out of the pit with the, the owls, owls and, and just doing all the crate. I'm just going to like tell our story of that badass fight. And yeah. as much right. as I... Um, that's fine. There is a, blah, blah, blah. there is a popular tavern in town. It's called the Tribor arms. Um, it's headed by a halfling. I'm sorry, a tiefling. Uh, proprietor by the name of Nemeth, um, who, when you come in, he's kind of got like this blue skin and black horns, and like these golden eyes, these golden twinkling cat eyes, and he, uh, he definitely uh, seems kind of sleazy in a way. Uh, but he, he gives you guys all mugs to drinks and stuff. <laughs> what do you I'll, say, I'll say, give me, I'll say, <laughs> I'll say, give me the thickest milk you got. <laughs> Give me the I coldest. Don't drink all, pardon me, but I'll take the hardiest milk, milk I got. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Can you uh, have the? Farmer, that's a terrible idea. Guys. They're just gonna give you old milk. <laughs> well, well, I meant, I meant like you know, like the high fat, fat content, think, not, yeah, not the low fat, fat milk. The heavy I mean, cream. I can give you some of that. Heavy yeah, cream. Heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. I, got I burned some, a lot of uh, calories today. Let me tell you well. about it. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you guys a, a plate of strawberries and some heavy cream. <gasps> and strawberries. And offers drinks to the rest of you guys. Uh, I am eating that. Too many coins, uh, you know, for everything. Um, but you're able to rest your weary bones here for a little while. Um, right. This is a tavern. So it doesn't have actually rooms for you to stay in. Hmm. From what I could tell. So maybe this once is happening we... a lot in this game. <laughs> <laughs> if we just I'm get sorry. drunk enough, they, what are they gonna do? Kick us out? <laughs> I'll go. This place does have rooms. If you really want us to hear, and that's okay. Well, um, I, I just want to tell have... the story, but then we can find wherever sure. to sleep. Um, make me a performance charisma. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna use my inspiration on this because I really want that story to Hell uh, yeah, you do. do good to spread. Oh, okay. That's yeah. important yeah. to Thornber. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, <laughs> you want other NBCs? Do you, in the other, do you in the want world? some illusions Hell. backing it up? The, like some illusions of the birds coming out oh, of the pit hell and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know yeah, what? All right, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll cook that up for him. All right, so sure. I'll make a performance Ooh. check. Ooh. Uh, eighteen. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, that's pretty it's good. Above average. It has sound, sight, smell, everything. Everything's uh, good. Uh, emulated will, in the. I will uh, also allow uh, Thornbur's. Um, what's it called? Not Thornbur. Uh, Balabar's proficiency bonus has a bonus onto the check, so you'll get a twenty-two. Oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> and I will say that uh, yeah, the the townspeople are definitely impressed. Uh, you get a few, you get a lot of people clapping after that, and uh, the tavern owner, Nemeth, seems especially pleased. And he says, man, that's a great story. He says, uh, I haven't heard a story like that in a long time. He says, uh, if it wasn't for these um, fire giants that passed through here a few weeks ago, he says, uh, we'd have more patrons. But, uh, you know what? Drinks around the house for the rest of the night, bub. Oh, uh, well. I think that that... I, I order like the hardest shit. Thank you kindly. Another um, round of heavy cream. 
Thornburn, <laughs> you got a total of 10 minutes on this spell. So if you want to tell any other stories, I'll embellish okay, it. Okay, yeah. So so you guys like that one. Let me tell you about these gay bees. They're all wearing leather jackets. Uh... <laughs> I fucking love you, Eric. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make you make another performance check for that. <laughs> oh yeah, that story tells itself. <laughs> that story tells itself. <laughs> but yeah, there's a you know there's a few things to do in town if you really want to. There's a blacksmith. There's how a, drunk am I? There's a how drunk are you? Go ahead and make me a Constitution saving throw since you got free drinks for the night. Damn, oh, you're fun. Oh, Far dang from. it. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> well, you can always willingly fail your save if you really want to. <laughs> but but you're able to hold your liquor tonight. It's mostly it's mostly ale. Um, they don't really have, like, super hard liquor here because uh, you find out after being here for a couple hours um, that, that uh, travelers to town have been few and far between, especially in the last few weeks. Um, you hear more stories about uh, stone giants that pick through um, the town of Westbridge and pick the clean and destroyed everything. Um, and the townsfolk are just grateful that that didn't happen here. Mm -hmm. um, but you do hear more stories about the, the the fire giant attack that occurred in this town several weeks ago. Um, so there's that, which you know of already because you passed through here. Previously. We were there. Guys, shit is getting a little. Yeah. These towns are getting screwed up. Yeah, they're getting slammed by giant attacks and uh, God knows everything else. Um, you know, but there's plenty to do in town if you really want to. Like I said, shopping. Uh, you can start talking to some other people. And if you just want to rest for the night and leave tomorrow morning, that's fine. Too. After kind of realizing what's going on with the other towns, uh, it's just, I don't just getting think worse. really up to anything. He's going to take out his fey pipe that he bought and start smoking the fine tobacco that he also bought. <laughs> okay. Um, there's some other... Uh... <laughs> uh, you do hear... Why don't, why don't I have every... What was that? You cut out. You cut we off. lost you. Oh, I don't know why you lost me, but uh, why doesn't everybody just make me... No! <laughs> Make perception me check. a something perception. check. Okay, perception. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I got you. This milk is sitting it's like real my nice. My fourth one. So far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think Ryan rolled, but that's uh... okay. Thornbur, you're able to hear this. Uh, mm. Ryan, too. You pick up. Both of you guys pick up at the same time. One of the nearby tables. Um, has a guy uh, who seems to be talking about gargoyles. Like the you, TV you know, show? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you kind of, like, your ears perk up, about? and, like, you hear him talking about gargoyles. Yeah, and uh, these gargoyles, I, uh, I had seen them up on my rooftop, and they were kind of just looking around and staring down on everybody and uh, I haven't seen them in a while but man those gargoyles they're, they're crazy he says that all started happening after that uh, thunderstorm a while back and, wait uh, a second Thornbar you heard that yeah. right? yeah you remember when we fought gargoyles before? yeah didn't they roll with the stone giants? no they rolled with the dragon after we defeated Grudhog. Oh Hog. yeah, that's right, that's right. I but got you do confused. see that this dude is, uh, yeah. uh, he seems to be kind of like a worker. He's wearing kind of like a servant's outfit. And he said, uh, Master Coolstack was, um, was quite displeased that they showed up. He says, uh, but he managed to scare them gargoyles off. He says, I wonder if, uh, these adventurers, um, and he's kind of like motioning to you guys, and then he sees that Thornbur and Kareem are kind of looking at him, and then he like kind of bows his head and starts whispering to the person that he's talking to. And you don't hear the rest of his conversation. Should we go over there, Thornbur? 
Yeah, fuck it. Let's go see what he's talking about. Hey, fuck it, you're right. I... You know, hey, hey guys, hey guys, that, guy, that guy's got a lead on some gargoyles and some lightning stuff, so we think he might know about that asshole dragon who attacked us. Oh, that little As Kareem's pussy already walking ass over bitch there, that assume. walked off? I mean, flew off? Yeah, that motherfucker. Yep, that one. Fucking <laughs> pussy ass dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, I think he did, his penis was pretty big, so I went in, you know, I'm just saying. You saw it? Yeah, you didn't see it? It was hanging down for everyone? I mean, it was huge. I mean, it was kind of dark. I, I assume dragons have pretty big penises. They have cloacas! As I'm walking towards the other people. <laughs> oh, maybe I was imagining things. <laughs> yeah, I don't I, was half I, asleep. Didn't, I don't pay attention. <laughs> I gotta to bring that, it back, so. dude. <laughs> cool. Alright, well. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that note. <laughs> Carry on. Following uh, so Thornbird. <laughs> I take it that uh, some people are walking up to this uh, man's table. Uh -huh. Yeah. He seems I, to be I'll in be a conversation to... with two other guys. I'll be the um, first to, to actually hit it. One guy's uh, kind of got like a scruffy brown and gray beard. He's balding on the top of his head. He seems to be human. Uh, he's He's got um, overalls that are covered kind of like in sawdust. Another dude is... Uh, kind of like a little dirty looking he's also kind of dressed like a, a worker of some sort um was wearing denim denim and then this other dude um is also human he's kind of a little bit more manicured you notice that he's um he's got like a tie and a shirt um but it's done in, in the fashion of a, of a servant of some sort and he was the one that was talking and mentioned the gargoyles. And when you come over, you see that the, all all three of them, well, the two guys that he was talking to notice you guys. And uh, they stop talking and they're like, shh, shh, they're coming over. You hear one of them say. And uh, and then the conversation all stops at the table. And the dude who was um, talking, the, the servant addressed fellow, he looks over his shoulder and up at you guys. And, he said, and you kind of hear him mutter on his breath, shit. And then he smiles and he says, uh, oh, howdy. Uh, I heard you talking about uh, some gargoyles. He says, oh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I was just, just, just chatting, shooting the shit with my friends here. Um, sorry, I, I didn't mean to, you know. Why are you so nervous? Are you okay? I just kind of get nervous against you, uh, around you adventuring. Oh, nothing wrong. Are you okay? Do you have a fever? I feel his forehead. Uh, no, You're no. not reaching for your bow? <laughs> he is starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, uh, it's just that Master Colstag doesn't like me talking about his business. And, uh, well, you know, you being adventurer types, you might you might know who he is. So, nope. none of you know who Master Colstag is. Alright, the Master Kosla. Uh... I like Cole Stag. Uh, uh, right. You never heard of him? Nope. No, we don't know. No, can't say people. we have. Oh, I know uh, him. <laughs> he's uh, well, he's my employer. He uh, kind of <laughs> rings his hand. Uh, you know, he has a big stone mansion up on a, right. up on the ridge that overlooks the rest of town. Mm. Of course. Um, mm. you know, famous mage. Uh, mm. served you know from Luskin. Mm. Served at the uh, Col royal Cole court Star, over there. You said? I yawn. Mm. Wait, the royal court as a as a what? Was he a soldier? Thanks, he man. says, uh, "No, one of those retired adventuring types." Uh, I hate uh, those types. Know, uh, he, he begins like he's starting to say something, and then he kind of shuts his mouth. <laughs> um, well, do you need any help with any gargoyles? Were there any dragons? Yeah, were they causing trouble? Dragons? Uh, you can make me a persuasion. Both of you, uh, Thornbur and Zorano. Ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. The milk is kind of getting to my stomach a little bit. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> yeah, Thornbur tries to get out something and he just burps. Uh, <laughs> oh, but, oh, pardon me. But Zorana, he, he says, uh, help? Um, no, no, I, I think we're fine. Um, you know, nothing, nothing wrong. Uh, we did have a gargoyle problem a, a little ways back, but um, Master Colstag definitely chased them off. Um, 
Oh, so Not, he's the kind of guy that can handle himself with I a heard, couple gargoyles. I heard a little bit about lightning, right? There was a storm following them? Uh, uh, yeah, um, that, that's right. There was a thunderstorm not too long ago. Uh, lots of lightning and tons of rain. Did you um, notice any dragons? No dragons. Blue his eyes kind of go wide. He dragons? says, uh, uh, dragons? Um, well, I, I did. He, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know if I should say. Well, well, I, listen, I, I don't think, think there's say. any reason that we need to be secretive about this. The reason we're so curious is we got attacked by some gargoyles accompanied by a big old blue dragon uh, who was a real asshole, but we, we also, like your like your master, uh, scared drove, him off. Drove him away, you know? So, but, we're, but, he, but we didn't kill him. And he's a real me menace, so, so, you know. So, you know, if you're saying that he headed up this way, that's um, good information, and I appreciate that. And we want to kill him. Yeah, and we can maybe yes. try and help keep him, yeah. keep him mm -hmm. from causing more trouble. Yeah. That's, so if that's you show us where saying. to go, that would help us. Mm -hmm. What direction did the storm go, if that is a thing that you know about? Uh, I don't know. I don't really well, know anything about that, but... Um, the... uh, I'm, I'm using my truthful necklace. Um, okay. <laughs> what anything. does that do? It doesn't vibrate. It doesn't <laughs> he seems to truly not know anything about it. Okay. He does say, um... Nice. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he looks at the other guys, and he says, uh, I'll catch up with you boys later. And, uh, and he says, are you sure about that, uh, Imrik? And he says, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Um... And they just kind of slowly get up and take their drinks, and they nod as they push their chairs out of the way. And uh, they walk away into the bar, and they're kind of like just looking at you guys, but they're a good 20, 25 feet away. Um, there's a couple open chairs um, at the table if you want to sit down. Otherwise, you guys are just kind of standing up, talking to this guy, seeming real intimidating to him. Yeah, I think we hey. sit down. And... I'll sit down. Yeah, I mean... you could pull some chairs from nearby tables. They're not all full. Um, this place is kind of a little empty. Um, so all of you are soon sitting around the table with Imrik. Listen, and we're not... God. Listen, we're not trying to trying to put you on the spot or anything. It's just, you know, we come to towns, we want to help. Mm -hmm. So we hear you talking about problems we've had problems with. We are just want to make sure, you know, you know that we... You can let us know if there's any way we can help you out. Uh, it's not me. I'm I'm fine. I I just work for Master Colstag and his employee is one of his servants. But uh, I did overhear him uh, talking about uh, once he once he once he took those gargoyles uh, and made short work of them. How he found out that they worked for a particular um, dragon. Mm. He says uh, apparently they were here looking for someone, looking for people. Um. I don't remember exactly who, but it was some sort of group of adventurers. And he kind of like looks at all of you guys, like his eyes. Oh dead, well, dang! Oh, they were definitely looking for us. That was that was probably us. It was probably somebody else. <laughs> Damn it! We should have made. We should have been more friendly to people in this town. Maybe they wouldn't have sold us out. We would have gotten attacked. <laughs> wait! 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 When was this? <laughs> yeah, right. Is that what happened? Wait. Was this before? This happened before or after we met up. up with them? Oh, it definitely happened after. Right? Okay. It said that the storm was only about a, w a week ago, a ten days. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, so, so he's still on the hunt. Okay, that's yeah. good to know too. He's hunting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, okay, they did so, not sell so... us out. They came oh. here looking for us. Well, if anything, they would have said we went south. So hopefully he. I sit back down. Well, but he probably could have figured it out. I don't know. Well, he says, um, well, uh, it could have been you, maybe. I'm not really sure. If you want to know more information, you might have to talk to Colstag himself. Um, you don't know the name of the dragon or anything? Uh, no. Do you know what color it I, is? I do remember him saying something along the lines of the dragon of statues. Well, oh, listen, yeah, I'll say definitely. it was probably mm -hmm. it was probably us that he was looking for. I don't mm -hmm. know if you heard my story about the gay bees, but we're kind of we're, we're kind part. of a big deal. 
<laughs> you reference uh, the bees for that story? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're the stone sworn, we get rid of gray bees. That, that's it. His eyes go wide. That's it. Oh, shit. <laughs> they were definitely looking for you then. That's the name that I think I heard. Uh, you know what? One of the Guys, gargoyles say. I just have. Uh, I had an epiphany. I just what? had one. What? He's the stone, like dragon thing, and we're stealing his thunder because we're the stone sword. Uh... Think about it. Oh, and I like what you did with thunder there because he's got lightning and stuff. So mm -hmm. that was a great little moment. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're I right. didn't even think of that. You've made it even better, Thunder. I like your no, mind. No, I just. Nailed it. These adventures are weird. <laughs> <laughs> I just nod. I nod to that one. <laughs> um, well, no I don't denying really that. Much else. I mean, to be completely honest, I frankly, I think Master is kind of a dick. He, he whispers. Um, That's fine. I only fine. work for the guy because he pays well, and and frankly, I, I not much of a manual labor. But um, say uh. You know, there is another name that I heard him call Dragon, which was Doom of the Desert. Hmm. Fushrota. He said Doom of the Desert? Doom of the yeah. Desert. That's me. He was looking Guys. for the Doom of the Desert, or he called himself the Doom of the Desert? Well, that's what the gargoyle said that they were working on. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the same dragon of statues, Doom of the Desert business. Oh, okay, okay. I'm the Doom of the Desert. He is a Doom of the Desert. Well, yes, thank you, so. I'm gonna hand this guy two gold pieces. Oh, um, well, that's mighty nice of you, but uh, uh I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't take you. Uh, back. listen, listen. I used to work. I used to be kind of, you know, more in your position. Adventurers got a shit ton of money. I don't need all this, so please <laughs> take it. It's really nothing. Um, well, like, I guess thanks. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, if I wish there was something more I could do for you, I mean. No, for uh, sure. Like as as long yourself, as. you'll feed them back. You already as... just did a lot to I'm, us. Yeah. I'm, I'm for not a slave. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, that's a different culture. I, I, I live somewhere else. Don't I, worry I get paid for my work. I mean, I'm, I'm lawfully employed by Master Colstag. <laughs> well, by yourself, you feed them. <laughs> what I was what I was concerned about is as long as the dragon didn't really come and like destroy the whole town yeah, looking for us, then I'd really feel bad. Which he didn't do, obviously, because the town is not destroyed. Unlike well, Westbridge. Well, there was that giant attack a while back, but I don't think Dragon had anything to do with that. Yeah, no, didn't. Yeah, didn't have to do with Westbridge either. Now that shit was fucked up. It's if he gone. comes looking for us, we'll be ready. <laughs> uh, I'm not see, worried. Uh, about... You're not actually planning on talking to Master Colstag, are you? No. Oh, no I don't think no we need. need to, uh, no uh... need. He sounds like a oh. jerk anyway. I wink at him. Very good, because... Uh, we get distracted too much. I, I just don't want anybody talking to him and we're getting out that I, 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 I talk to you guys about that. That's all. Oh, oh no, no. Don't worry about safe. it. Don't worry about it. You're he, good. His eyes, like, kind of flick over your shoulders at the two dudes standing at the bar that he was just talking to. <laughs> well, we appreciate well, why the information. What's, what's, why is that the big deal? Uh, well, Master Goldstein is kind of a dick. Uh, truth be told, he... he uh, Kind of flies off the handle every once in a while. It's known but for short temper. You're talking about things that I know that kind other of person. people have probably seen, right? I mean, uh, no, not at all. No, it's uh, always. I don't think very many people know about the uh, the gargoyles passing through here. Oh. weird. Well, well, we're you... going to focus on the giant problem, I think. Mm -hmm. If that dragon wants to come mess with us... He can, he can find I us. I mean, you heard the gay B story, right? Mm -hmm. I just need to reiterate that one. So, pleasure meeting you, Mr... Um... Emmerich. Emmerich. Yes, yeah, pleasure meeting you, Emmerich. Uh, I'm Zorana, this is Thornbird, Cream, Brofrin, Balabar. You are the Stone Sworn, and uh, you have a wonderful yeah. light. Uh, good luck to your folks. Um, <laughs> may the rocks be with you. Uh, may the, all right. <laughs> he kind of looks a little confused. <laughs> he says, uh, well, may, may the traveler guide your steps. If you haven't stopped by Guayron's slumber, uh, maybe you might want to do so. Where's that at? Is that in town? 
Oh yeah, yeah. There, um, that's um, uh, that's a shrine. Uh, within town itself. Uh, yeah, I think that the dedicated to Guiron Wimstrom, you know, the god of tracking. Mm. Oh, there was some. Kareem, who's the traveling god that you uh blessed the shrine of? But remember that? Hell if I know. That maybe yeah, that was a while ago. That one time though, that was great. I know. I'm just saying, maybe this there was a traveling god that helped us maybe out. I don't was. know if it's the same one, him? but he's a good guy. Yeah, he gave you yeah. some free speed. Love those traveling gods. I love speed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well. well, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is like the awkward, like, okay, uh, I think we're leaving now. <laughs> yeah. As as we're walking away, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the party, guys. We need that. We need some kind of like motto, you know. You know the traveler. Yeah, yeah. The stones the be with you. I think was not. You're right. That, it doesn't show. work. I'm pretty sure we're against you, stones we because I um, get hard, work harder. Maybe something like uh, that. Mm, I'm not. A, I'm not completely opposed. I think it's better than the stones thing. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we'll work let's on work it. on we'll it. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop. Okay. Well, like, <laughs> do we like not like stones, or maybe we do like stones because well, we're we sworn we're, to we're stones. yeah we're sworn to knight stone. We're sworn because of the stone. Yeah, we're sworn because of the stone, knight stone. Uh -huh. So how about just maybe like swear it up? Swear it up. Swear the stones. I don't know. I we'll still like it hard. We'll work on it. <laughs> swear it up hard. Swear it up hard. Swear yeah. it up hard. <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll work on it. That's a work. We'll that's a working. Uh, working motto. Working motto. <laughs> um. So as, as the thought of Nightstone crosses your mind, Thornbird, it suddenly dawns on you that it could be very possible that that cloud giant castle that you just left behind were the same cloud giants that attacked the town. Hmm. Shit, guys. I was just... What? I've been so caught up. Last time we saw a, gi a giant castle... Last time I saw a giant castle was in Nightstone. You think it's the same one that attacked Nightstone? What are the chances? I mean, it's the only one I've ever seen. Did it look Did it look the familiar? same? Did it look you were there. the same? Uh, it was, <laughs> I mean, you know, it was in the middle of an attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, it looked the same to you. I mean, but I mean, I've only ever seen one. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, two. two. That hat thing? Well, There's that the was hat. a that was a tower more than a castle. Yeah, yeah. But it was a hat, and it was on a cloud. Fuck. No, it was guys. We got a. <laughs> it's not Zephyros. It was not Zephyros' <laughs> tower that attacked me. <laughs> <No. laughs> Guys, uh, I'm gonna head to bed. Let's let's get moving early tomorrow. For sure. Head over the hand. What? Uh, as you say the that, hand you feel uh, a touch <laughs> upon your shoulder. See uh, Serena, um, Serafina standing there, a single tear streaming from her eye, and she has a very sad look on her face. I just kind of put my head down and I'm gonna go Who? head out. Who? His, gu his guardian angel. Oh. My guardian angel. Okay. Well, um, you can rest here. Um, rooms are really cheap. Probably about a gold or two for a night uh, at the Tribor Arms, which is, like I said, the place that you're currently staying at. Uh, if you're not planning on doing anything for the rest of the night. Uh, it passes on that for you. You know your guardian angel cried because of all the cream you drank, right? <laughs> Karim? Karim? It was like, you're for a long night, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to us? Yeah. You find, uh, your night, um, you know, filled with tossing and turning, Thornver. And, uh... Does it get hard? <laughs> before, actually, before I go to sleep... Uh, because I, I haven't really used many, sp I have plenty of spell slots right now. I'm going to cast Sending, um, yeah. All right. to Haral, uh, and I'm just going to say, hey, 
Hey. Brawl. The Stormbur. Uh. Sorry, it's been a while. I miss you. How's everything at home? Okay. So, uh, so you do not. I don't get a response. Nope. Oh fuck. Oh. That's not ominous. Don't sidetrack us, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that person wasn't important. <gasps> Is that the dwarf? No. No. He's like the All temple right. guy. The temple guy. He's the okay. priest guy. Oh, that was like your you're like yeah. under him, right? Mm-hmm. It's not that um It's not that you don't feel his presence, it's that he's fucking asleep. <laughs> uh, who knows? Well, the, the spell doesn't specify whether or not you feel his presence or not. No, that's no. true. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You don't you don't need to specify. Yeah. And uh you don't think he's on a different plane of existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just no response. You just get no response back. It's like, uh... Mm -hmm. That's all we know? Yeah. Send like, it to you know, someone else in town. It's like, you just you, like, you pick up the phone, it's like, Ooh, the dial tone, uh, you know? Yeah, you know what? I do have another spell slot, so I'm gonna cast it once more. Um, and this time, I'm fucking... When you, when, you, when you begin to cast it... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm not casting it to Haral. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna cast it to... Um, the I can't remember her name, but the woman who we put in charge when we left. <laughs> we put a woman oh, in charge. Yeah. So if yeah. Yeah. Kella. Under... No. She was. No, not she Kella. Was, um... Kella's not her. No, I know who you're talking about. No, I know the the door. She's not from the charge. family. She's like the was sister she, of. She was like the assistant Kareem's... to Lady Nandar. Ah. Uh, or some. Oh, she was like so her handmaid, and I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking no, about. No, Lady Nandar's dead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah never mind. Uh, or no, she's missing. No, she's dead. The other her, girl's... Her sister's missing. Mm -hmm. Um, God, we haven't pursued any of these <laughs> story threads We're getting so there, long. okay? I mean, it's like, that's no, kind of like our side story, because it's not the main story, you know? Yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna reach out to... I got him. Oh, there's Nightstone NPCs. You can look at the different NPCs there. It's under... Uh, okay, thank there you. There you go. Yeah, I see it. Um, Is it Kella? So it's Daphne. It's Daphne. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, uh, there you go. So I'm going to reach out to Daphne. Kella's with us in turn. Yeah, the yeah. Daphne Featherstone was the uh, the, the maidservant to leave. And, and she was the one we kind of, we like... Yeah. Put in charge when we left. Um, oh, that's right. That's correct, yes. And I'm going to reach out to her and say, Daphne, it's a storm birth broken wit. How is Nightstone? Are you all okay? Where's Haral? Okay. Um, so the response you get back is, um, Thornbur, uh, you've been gone so long. Um, Nightstone is no more. I live in Waterdeep now. Uh, Haral has passed. I'm sorry to let you know. What's up, uh, Is it God? Yeah, Thornbur is not <laughs> sleeping tonight. I'll take a point of exhaustion. Not getting a long rest tonight. I'm staying up fucking stewing. Yep. Holy shit. Holy was it that shit. fucking guy we fucking sent there that was an asshole, was an elf racist oh that fucking ruined everything? <laughs> uh, actually, actually, wait, I have one more third level spell. Can I send one last sending after I stew for a little bit? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to send a sending to that motherfucker. <laughs> what was his <laughs> name? Uh, is it Tarpa? Nandar? No, the Nandar the, no. guy that we went to. It was like the family the guy. The jackass Nandar guy. Jack guy. Oh, Nandar that guy. guy. Yeah. That we saw in Waterdeep. Yeah. I'm going to send one last one to that guy. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, this is Thornbur Throken Wit. <laughs> what the like angry, fuck angry break happened? Up <laughs> I say, what the fuck happened to Nightstone, you son of a bitch? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lord Dreslin Dandar, that motherfucker. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, that's right, Lord Roslin. So, um, you get a response back, and he says, uh, "Did you say who you were?" I yeah, missed that. He yeah, says, I did. Why, well, for isn't it? If it isn't Thornbur, he says, uh, "Go fuck yourself, son." <laughs> oh. that's, that's the response he gets back. <laughs> oh I'm man. On the list. Oh man. All right. We're All going right. evil. Hitless. Wow. No, I love it. I love it. I hate it. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I'm not telling anyone about any of this tonight. I'm I'm stewing in my room. All right. I'm fucking furious and depressed and terribly. Uh Serafina appears. Um, as you're stew stewing there, and she says, uh, I did not know that Haral had passed. I'm sorry to hear it. How do you not know? Don't you know everything? I only know what the gods tell me. Ah. I'm with you always, Thornbur. I hope you know yeah. I thought Ill Matter was the suffering god. I thought Lathander was all about birth and <laughs> renewal and good shit. Like, things have been good. He is. But Haral was a servant of Ill Matter. I'm sure he's in a better place now serving that god's needs. <laughs> but he must not lose faith. He must know that the dawn always comes. That Lathander always provides. Birth and renewal. Don't forget. Don't lose hope. The ray of dawn always comes over the horizon each day. Doesn't feel like it. She says, don't ve let vengeance darken your heart. You have a mission to accomplish and friends that need you. I don't say anything back. I'm just going to sit there in contemplation. She walks over and uh, lays a hand on gently on the top of your head and then uh, fades away from sight. Fuck. Fucking ass is right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to like stew in my own regret all night probably say a lot of prayers and uh, a lot of uh, apologies to those I've failed alright the night passes wearily for you but yeah. uh, when the sun rises a grey dingy light comes in through your boarded window It's really cold in the morning. So cold you can see your breath. I look out at the gray light. I'm just gonna shake my head. Hell of a fucking dawn, Lathander. Ooh. Are, are, are any of us up at this point? He's in his own room. Are you in your room? Definitely. Yeah. Because you, you were drinking last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably yeah, and, not, and, right. I, and I'm I'm in a private space for sure. Yeah, okay. I didn't want okay. to be around. Yeah, um, yeah, it's so gray and dark you don't even see the sun. Everything's just. Um, and I'll just get up. Uh, and go downstairs. And uh, whoever's down, is, is there someone like up ready for cook breakfast and? I'm a, I'm always yeah. up early. You yeah, see, uh, <laughs> you see uh, a couple of your companions downstairs waiting for breakfast. Uh, a couple other people here, workers looking to get some grub before they start their day. Um, there is an overweight um, human woman that seems to be um, busily tending to the patrons. You smell some uh, breakfast food coming from the kitchen. Eggs, bacon. Um, so yeah, Thornber walks downstairs and he's looking 
I would say you could probably, even if you have low insight, you could probably immediately tell he's got bags under his eyes. He's usually a bubbly, smiley person. He is not today. Take a seat. I'll be right with you. Morning, Thornbur. Uh, you, uh, you all right? Not sleep well. Ready to head out? Let's not get distracted anymore. Okay? Of course. That's why we're doing this. What happened? Thinking about, um... <clears throat> thinking about those, uh... uh cloud giants last night thinking about nightstone I, I reached out to Haral and uh, seems like nightstone was destroyed since we last left it and Haral's dead And I've just been thinking about it all night, and, uh, you know, I, I want the, I was thinking about Ilmater, thinking about Lathander, thinking about what I should do, and so much of me wants to go back, go help but I think that's the old Thornbur I think that's what old Thornbur wanted, wanted to do I think new Thornbur needs to step into the new day go you know face what face what's ahead I think that's what Haral would have wanted I think that's the way I can best honor him well Thornbur I definitely would follow you to go help Nightstone, but if it is no more, then that is a... That's definitely the cause of all these giants. And that's... That's what we're doing, right? That's why we're here? Yeah, that's the thing, is if we just go back, then... Then what, Tribor's gonna die? Exactly. You know, Westbridge already, is already, already gone. gone. We just keep chasing the cities that have been destroyed then we're never going to stop new cities from falling we're going to stop these giants Thornbur. I'm going to come down to the the bar now sure and then I'm going to snap my finger hey bartender can I, uh, can I get the drink two drinks three drinks actually three can I get three drinks <laughs> Cream just get you know, Thornbur, Thornbur, I've been thinking. Uh, a little short staff this morning, this morning, honey. Uh, Look, I I'll don't... get you drinks as soon as okay. I can. Well, you better give me a lot of drinks. I'm, I want to get very drunk. Thornbur. Oh, it's first thing in the morning. I kind of look thinking... up with, like, somber eyes at Kareem. What, I was thinking, what is it? smart as boulders, hard as rocks. What do you think? <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> 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 I mean Not right now Not right now, Kareem <laughs> What? <laughs> um Thornbur just got word That Nightstone was destroyed Oh Four drinks <laughs> No Kareem I don't do that I mean, I never did the drinking thing, but Oh, well, you should try No No I I've already beat days. myself up. You guys see me beat myself up. Those days are past me. I'm going to trust Lathander. Because that's the only thing I feel like I can't trust. Is Lathander and you folk. You can definitely trust us. Yeah. And then uh, then we'll die. And then where will you be? Helpful. But, but, but what are you going to... Everybody's going to die, Kareem. What are you gonna die for? Die for? Does it even matter, Thornbur? 
I mean, I think if we can save someone, if somebody would have died for Haral, I would have been mighty grateful. I would have died for Haral. I wouldn't have been so upset about it if it would have been me doing some badass gay bee killing if it meant Haral was still alive because of it. I feel like the gay bee thing was stupid. We didn't even save anyone with the gay bee thing. Like, I was telling that story all night last night, but now I think about it, like, it's fucking dumb. Why did we even kill those gay bees? Like, they didn't... They were attacking They weren't hurting them. anyone. Defending our own lives, sure. Okay. Except that bear. I mean, I guess we helped that bear that was being raped, but he was liking it. I don't know. It was complicated. We killed the bear, too, I think. <laughs> a lot of layers. A lot of layers there. <laughs> <laughs> we ended his suffering. <laughs> anyway... You know, I don't know. My family is dead, probably, or who knows what's going on with them. Your family's dead. Is the runner? How's your family? Dead. Belfrian, how's your family? Um, they're up north, last I heard. Still no, gone. they're dead now. And then Balabar, how's your family? Oh, they're doing quite well. Uh, they're dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I can see where kind of world you live in, but no, Thornburg, I agree with what you said before, that the only way is forward, and that we should continue and face this threat before others suffer. That's what we have to... Not pessimism over here, a gesture to the drunk. Yes, yes. Let's cancel those four beers. <laughs> Meh. Every way is the same. Do you think that? Do you think I was just as helpful when I was whipping myself and being in the dumps and... Think it didn't matter. Oh, we didn't tell you. <laughs> it's not about helpful or not Don't helpful. That. It's that you're you're changing and you're feeling better for yourself, right? Well, it's no, you're right. You're right. You feel better now, Thornbur, than you did then. No, it's hard to say. Well, probably not now at this moment. It's then. it's a different it's a different kind of pain, but I feel like. The pain, it's, it's not so, I don't feel like I'm drowning as much when I feel like I have something to do to prevent it from happening to other people. I feel there like if go. I can just you keep doing something. You just dull it. You have a purpose. You know, if you help people, that might dull it. I but if I, that I that's, you see, Kareem, if I dull it, then... I'm not going to be, the sharpness of the pain is just what's going to make me fucking kick the asses of those giants and give me the strength to go save other people. If I dole it, then why the fuck would I even do that? Why would I even care? That's what they say, adver ad adversity gives you uh, strength, so you just got to channel that. Yeah, did you just come up go. with that? That's a great saying. Yeah, it's, a, it's an old gnome saying. Yeah. You gnomes are wise folk. Mm, all in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Good, you're laughing. Now let's wrap up and go and kill giants before they get another town. No more of this moping. I understand people lost. I get it. But being here won't do you any good. Action. That will make you... I agree. I agree. Not, Kareem, not... you're with us, right? You're going to follow us? You're still coming with us? It doesn't with, really or... matter what I do, right? I don't know. I'm just No, here. it does matter. And we're going to keep doing shit. And you're going to see. You're going to see the changes we make. Because you're going to be there every step of the way. Because we need you. We've been together. And I like clap, a a clap a hand on his shoulder. Why not? Lean in for a hug on Kareem. Now you've been through it. I'm glad I'm short. Duck Kareem under. Like to talk about <laughs> 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 All right. Um. The uh, tavern proprietor brings over the a plate of hard-boiled eggs, a plate of, a heaping plate of bacon, along with a couple of pitchers of ale and some mugs. Water. Says, uh, Sorry about the delay. She notices the uh, <laughs> redness in Thornbur's eyes and just kind of scoots away. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... I'm not going to drink one, though. <laughs> me, me neither, unless there's a cup of water. <laughs> I Get don't the, drink. <laughs> some of the bacon, for sure, but yeah. Oh, I am munching that bacon. 
Uh, sure. She brings over a pitcher of milk and water as well. Bacon. Oh, good. The light milk in the morning. That's always nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it doesn't really cost you guys much of anything to pay for that. You have so much money anyway. Um, <laughs> so uh, that breakfast passes pretty um, quiet and morosely. <laughs> and um, you know, at this point, you've finished and you're free to do whatever you like. Well, let's let's head up to the hand of Anam, guys. Yeah. All right. How long is that of a trip? So let me put it back on the map of the north. Um, inch. And uh, if you follow the road and then turn south when you s see the hand, it probably will take you only about a couple of days. Yeah, about two days and a couple more hours. You can make it in two days. Or... Owl days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's uh, one, we could do one day with owls, one day no owls. Well, yeah. So the owls, uh, yeah, like I said, I think we worked that out. Um, each casting of the spell allows you to travel for fifty miles. Mm -hmm. No, not fifty miles. It was like ten miles, right? Fifty miles is a lot. Yeah, it was 10 miles. 10 miles. I'm oh, sorry, 10 miles, yeah. Yeah, we were even there. Yep, you're correct. All right. Uh, traveling at a speed of 50 feet, correct. 60 feet. 50 feet, because you got to go at... Uh, mm, right, right. Winter speed. Winter speed. Um, all right. So... So if that's the plan, uh, then you can probably reach the... Hand of Anam by nightfall. I think that's a good way to put that action into motion, don't you, Thornbrook? Get there yeah. sooner? Two days sooner? Hell yeah. Hells yeah. All nine yeah. of them. If Let's you don't do. mind, Belfrid. It's your resources. <laughs> <laughs> it is Chantia's resources. She grants them to me. Must bring balance back. Um, yeah. So, how many uh, how many castings of conjure animals are you using? Um, three normally at my third level spot, but I can cast it five more times. On top of that, if need be. I don't have to ride an owl because I can ride winter technically or going at winter speed so yeah it doesn't, it doesn't i matter. think he has plenty of owls oh, okay. the point is is that, is that the owls have to be cast oh. uh with six castings okay. um you can definitely get there you know by nightfall i would say definitely with six castings otherwise you might be traveling a couple hours at night which isn't the deal but you know it is what it is so okay. if you want to do that you just mark off six spells and um I don't think you guys are really going to encounter anything, but why don't we uh, just fly over roll it? Roll anyway. <laughs> Daytime roll. Um, so, um, just give me a second. Okay, so it looks like Zorana. You get to make the roll. D20? D20. Just a straight up D20. Schmeventine. 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 <laughs> um, okay. Wow, you guys did almost everything that you had given me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta restock the list. <laughs> yeah. Um, whoa, it's, it's really fucking weird, but you guys are coming up on something. Um, oh, Gibby's. <laughs> no. I put it in twice. Transsexual. It, like... <laughs> it looks like a. Um... As you guys, how high off the ground are you flying? People who mm, are flying. Probably not. Ten Level? feet. 
10 feet? <laughs> okay. Well, it's uh, yeah, not you're flying so high. low, you actually come um, almost face to face with it super quickly. Uh, and oh, let God. me know. I assume you guys are screeching to a stop when you see this. But there is a crowd of shambling people um, well, kind of walking along the road toward your direction. Um, and from what you could tell, uh, when you stop about, I would say about 200 yards from them, so you're about 600 feet away, um, is that there's easily three, four dozen. Um, they look to be uh, shambling and walking kind of slowly, uh, bumping into each other. Their arms are dangling at their sides, and uh, they have a very strange gait to them because... Um, you know, they don't look like they're 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 rushing. They don't have any animals with them. You don't see uh, really much of anything except for that their clothes appear to be rotten. So zombies. Okay. Uh oh. The undead. Yeah. They, they uh, must be. Do you quickly realize what they are? Yes, they are a <laughs> horde of shambling zombies on the Tribor Trail. Um, easily, um, uh, half a hundred, um, from what you Shit. can tell. Uh, what the fuck? they, uh, the smell of rot, uh, starts to wave, uh, waft over in your direction. Waft. Waft. And, uh, you know, I think you can hear some slight moaning. I got this, guys. I'm gonna fly. I, I fly up. I'm gonna fly the bird 60 feet above him and just drop fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I, I, so when you uh, um, you can see that most most of the people appear to be townsfolk, uh, intermixed among them are children. Um, zombie is a zombie. Don't care. <laughs> and you start dropping firewalls at them, and uh, I would say about like two or three firewalls later, they uh, they are all perished. Perfect. Just a pile of burnt corpses. Ah, oh, great. That that really brings our mood up. <laughs> yeah, we killed things. Let's go! Well, zombies, you know... You have endless optimism. Is there like a small female zombie with a teddy bear just laying in the rubble? To make it more sad, you know? No, the teddy bear probably burnt up. Charred. <laughs> but nice. Still smoking. But the little girl is clutching to it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yep, oh, that's... let's keep flying past them. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, yeah. as you guys didn't uh, even stop, just whoop. atop your uh, owls as you uh, the smell of burnt <laughs> flesh and hair uh, deep in the stench in the area, you you see that the bodies are just you know completely decimated. Uh, but if you're not stopping to take a closer look, then you continue on. Well, I'm on, uh, I'm on the ground, so I'm sure I pass by him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and definitely Winter is kind of freaked out. Um, you know, you never, definitely have mm -hmm. never come across a horde of zombies before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's odd to you <laughs> that, that this would be here. What? Yeah. Uh, it's odd? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't normally see like a horde we of zombies. We passed by this it's way before, and it was a horde of orcs. And now it's a horde of zombies. Yeah. They were just coming down the yeah, there's trail. There's a lot of hordes on this trail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'm can as we're flying by, can I like look at and see if there's any markings that would like show like like a town symbol or something to... wait, 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 wait. Orcs. Undead. Do we see any cow people? <laughs> <laughs> cow people? Trolls <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, oh, the yeah, horse! Like, quick types of elves. <laughs> <laughs> Any what fancy else? elves? The void elves in there? No, that's Alliance. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so I did hear, though, that you wanted to take a look, right? Yeah, yeah I'm just looking yeah. for town symbols. Sure, sure. Or anything that would identify them for a town. That or anything. Maybe we've been in. Yeah. Okay. Um... Go ahead and make me a perception, because unless you're actually like physically searching body, nah. Just I'm just like over. I'm just looking around yeah. on the ground. Mhm. Mm okay, so you do find a um, 
You do find uh, some heraldry on one of the bodies. Looks to be a dead guard. Um, obviously, he's quite dead now because he's no longer a zombie. Uh, and the heraldry <laughs> appears to you to be a village uh, sitting at the bottom of a mountain um, that uh, seems to be surrounded by hills as well. Mm. Now, um, you can try to recognize what the heraldry is um, by making a history check or pointing it out to somebody for them to make the check. Yeah, I'm going to point to Zerana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? You found a guy? Found something? What's this? Uh, uh, okay, uh, something so... I found. History check? Yeah, you can go ahead and make a check. Mm, okay. So, um, y you're fairly certain that that is a, a heraldry belonging to the town of Fandolin. Fandolin uh, is actually not mm. too far from you. Um, it mm. is about... Uh, I mean, it's de farther... Le definitely less than 100 miles away. Farther than Tribor. Maybe, maybe 120. Um, if they're from all the way down in... I mean, not that it's far that close, really, but they traveled a while to get here. That's interesting. Another town. Well, not my giant, not my problem. <laughs> probably, probably giant necromancers. Giant necromancers. That would be a sight. I'm sure it's a thing. Death giants in one of the old editions. <laughs> All right. So, anything else? Or are you going to move on? Uh, could I just... I, I don't know if this is a appropriate use, but could I try and use my divine intervention just to ask <laughs> Lathander to protect the souls of these people and watch over them? Um, well, are you guys 10 or 9? <laughs> uh, or 10. 10. <laughs> oh, you are 10. Wait. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, wow, I've never actually seen this used. Wait, we're level ten? Uh, I know, I've never used it. Either. I I well, updated yeah, my sheet, but I never like wrote ten on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we leveled up. It was well yeah. around the gay bees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think oh. I just didn't update the ten. Yeah, I never put ten um, on the. Okay, all right, so I got to roll a ten or lower. Yeah. Nope. Thander's mm. not with me today. No, I mean that's a pretty low gray and overcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Testing your resolve today, so uh, you don't feel the thunder's call. I'll say a prayer nonetheless. Okay. So you guys continue on. Uh, after about six hours of traveling atop the backs of giant owls, you finally see the hand of distance. Uh, it's a huge, I don't know if Kevin ever, ever uh, was with us when um, no. you guys were first no. here. I don't think he was. But uh, so to Kevin, what you see is a, is a gigantic stone hand uh, thrust upright from the ground, maybe from about mid forearm. Um, and it's uh, so big that you can see it from the road. It's 300 feet tall uh, with its fingers like displayed out. Um, and it looks to be made entirely of grace. On the map, we're still in Tribor. Where would that... Uh, so, Here. you see it on the map where it says Old Tower? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. So, um, you guys head south toward it. Um, and soon enough, you are... You are there. Uh, Yay! Find... Um... <laughs> What you find outside is uh... liches. <laughs> Lots of liches. Harshnag is now oh, a lich. <laughs> no, Harshnag is not a lich. <laughs> you find, you Plot find, twist. Uh, you find um, Chalcedon. That's the guy's name. I was mm -hmm. trying to remember oh, his name. That guy. He's a stone oh, giant. Mm -hmm. Great ointment. He's got great ointment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you find a stone giant who is uh, polishing. Um, you know, some stones around the base of uh, the Hand of Anam. Um, he looks exactly like the figure you see currently on your screen. Um, I believe I showed it to you guys. 
You do see it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. And he looks upon you guys and he says, Oh, you've returned. I was not expecting your return. I thought that you had died. <laughs> That's fair. I mean... I he can't blame you. Yeah, everyone's dead right now, so I would, I would make there. the same assumption. Did Harshnag stop by? Now I understand my dreams from last night. <laughs> well, you? yes, yes. Uh, Harshnag has been waiting for very patient. Um, Sorry, he has been reading, catching up on his giant lore. He can't wait. Uh, almost give up hope he has. Oh. But he uh, he lies inside. Let me open the door for all of you. Thank and, you. Uh, you feel his heavy footsteps reverberate on the ground as he walks over to the base of the wrist. Um, I'm sorry, the, ba- the base of the forearm that's sticking out of the ground. And he opens up a door and inside you find the massive uh, foyer of the, uh, the temple of the Hand of Anam. Where, if uh, you recall, there was a, um, a giant statue. Uh, of Anam holding the weight of the world on his back like Atlas. There's also uh, stairs that lead up, not stairs, but kind of like a ladder that leads up to the uh, other floors. Um, currently where you guys are and you don't see Harshnag, um, but assuming that you do go up the ladder, you find him in the section um, of the library mm-hmm. uh, where you see he's uh, near his great axe Gert's great axe, uh, it's resting up against the wall, and you find Harshnag there, um, reading what looks to be some stone tablets in very, very tiny giant script. And he says, um, it's about damn time you showed. I almost thought you damn near killed yourselves, and then Kalsadon was spouting about something, some sort of dream he had last night, saying that, uh, you were either dead and gonna come here as ghosts, or gonna knock on the door any second now. He says, well, he picks up his axe and puts the tablet away. Well, we're not ghosts, and sorry we took so long. There are many gay, things. Gay and many things. <laughs> but I that's not imagine. important. But we could rest up for today. We were flying, riding all day, so we could oh, head damn out. damn it. Is it nighttime already? I can't uh, see shit in here. There's no fucking windows. Yeah. We just make some could make I mean ask Calcedon first I don't know I don't just make windows in a you know like holy temple <laughs> he looks at all you guys he says uh, I was just joking I'm not gonna rip <laughs> holes into the hand on no, no. he says uh, he points at Thornburn he says what, what the he says what's got you all down boy oh it's, Don't uh, worry about it. It's, he's uh, right. You're looking even bluer than he is. <laughs> I'm glad there's still jokes in your dream. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's uh, uh, my home was destroyed. Everyone, I, but I mean, destroyed a second time. I should say, uh, the half of people who I still cared about that are were alive are now all dead uh uh like the first half the second half has also been all killed um so you know just uh same well, old same old the story goes on point That's being right. we have to stop these giants this is what we're getting at no more yeah, losing don't... track yeah we're ready to we're ready to focus harshnag you've kind of oh no shit i've been waiting for weeks for you damn folk he says, boo fucking who, your town's dead. He says, I haven't seen my family in years. He says, if any of them are even still alive, they've probably all been killed by my kind. He says, uh, you want to do something good and right? You help me solve this problem and get these freaking giants all in order again. Got yeah. that, boy? Fuck yeah, I'm in. Point, points a blue finger at Thornbird. I point a yellow, uh, <laughs> what, what would my finger be? <laughs> Tan, very tan. I I pointed. Nah, it's kind of pink. I'm not. I guess I'm kind of tan. You're very tan. You're yellow. (laughs) You're very tan. You're farmer man. He's got. What's that disease that makes your skin? Chondus. I got (laughs) chondus. 
don't know why I said yellow. I'm very pale. Your liver's failing you right now, but keep going. <laughs> he doesn't drink at all. Point Point <laughs> Your liver's failing. It's all that heavy cream for last night. Point yeah. <laughs> that heavy cream really. All that heavy cream and no hard. sleep. <laughs> yeah, so it's a little yellow. I'm gonna point a yellowish pinkish tan finger at him. <laughs> Back, and I say, I'm ready. <laughs> he says, good. He says, uh, well, I guess you're in need of some rest. You small folk need to, you know, sit your rumps down and rest a bit. That's fine. We'll leave in the morning when you're ready. He says, what's another fucking day, right? You're right. right. What's another fucking town? <laughs> I disagree. I think another day is another town. Let's go. Korea. I think we should go Fuck. right now. <laughs> well, if you want to go right now, I'm ready to go. And he slings back some. Okay, do we not? Are you sure you don't want to rest one night? I, I mean, we'll be right there. We'll be right here. Right. We could literally well, go there I mean, in the morning when we wake let's up. Let's ask Belfrian, who used a lot of spells I, today. I, I could use yeah. a few. That'd be nice. Um, to get spells. Yeah. <laughs> I need my owl. Be at peak performance when we go to fight giants, I think. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much like, can, can you carry Winter? Because he's probably going to need it to go up a ladder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. That was assumed, I'm sure. All right, y'all be ready to go first thing in the morning, though. Yep. We're not wasting any more time. Of course. All right, you got it. Yes, Take all the time you need. He says, uh, make some potions or whatever the fuck it is do. He says, uh, I'll be right here. And then we're headed. Headed off. All right. Well, um, we still got a few minutes left in the session, unless you want to stop here and think about what you want to do tonight. Um, otherwise, when we next play... Yeah, I think we can stop here the... because uh, this is where uh, Emin comes back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You were talking to him about it last night, right? I, I was, actually. And he says, oh, and uh, Emma's been waiting for you. And that was up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did marry that halfling, though, right? <laughs> rejoining the I'll game of the out. wife. I'll let Eric know to rejoin us next session. Two wives. Yeah. So, nice. As a dwarf, too. And so I hope you guys had fun today. Uh, we'll stop there for a night. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Mm -hmm. um, I did fucked mention... up. You fucked up Thornber's life, though. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but I hate. I hate. I hate Kareem it. is yeah. not in a good place right now. I'll tell you that. I gotta think of how to cheer <laughs> up these sad boys. I know. Uh, things just keep getting worse. Like he he just saw two towns basically completely fucked, because you know that whole town was zombies and the other town was just. Fucked in Restbridge. Now Thornburr's talking about how his whole fucking town's gone too. I mean, the world is going to shit in front of our eyes. It's yeah. it's not good. The yeah. answer's to fireball it all. Apparently. Yeah. Well, that's your answer. Follow, that's my answer. Gnome wins. I'm gonna have to think of something to say to cheer these kids up. I uh, know. I've in in real life I've tried <laughs> too much to try to get people to not be alcoholics. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's and in fact I would say it's impossible. So we'll see what Thornbird does. In real life, Eric has had enough of that shit. Well, <laughs> I definitely have a few actions lined up for Kareem that I'm gonna be implementing in the next few games, so we'll see where that goes. Alright. Um as I mentioned at the beginning of the session, I I'm gonna play it by year if I can play the twenty seventh or Mm -hmm. like I said I have training until 8 p.m. that day. Yeah. Um, so um, I think I should be fine because I'm doing it at home, but just letting you guys know I have, I have to see how tired I am and stuff. It's very but... intense training. No problem. <laughs> smart, <laughs> smart, smart as boulders. boulders. <laughs> smart oh, as boulders. Oh, fuck. Well, that, that just shows how smart no, I am. Like that, that's, that's good. You're right. <laughs> smart and boulders. <laughs> Hard as <laughs> Fuck. Smart yep, and boulders, hard and rocks. We are <laughs> smart as boulders. Anga bunga. Smart. <laughs> smart and boulders, hard as rocks. I think you have a point of exhaustion there. I think it looks like you need some sleep. You know what the funniest part is, Kevin? I don't think anybody realizes Tomb of, of Annihilation game is a female. What? 
Oh, something, something. Nobody realizes cut off Tomb of Annihilation game is a female. Oh, it got cut off? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't realize what you just said either. <laughs> the, the mystery remains. Maybe it's your character or Tomb someone else's character. I don't know what word yeah, you I, said. I, I play in a Tomb of Annihilation game with uh, Kevin mm -hmm. uh, the Monday before we played this game. Mm -hmm. uh, so yesterday. And uh, I don't think anybody in the group knows that my character is actually female. I mean, it's a bird. How can you tell? <laughs> exactly, right? And yeah, they all have cloacas. Let's go back to that conversation. And listen to how you're... Listen to your voice. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know, I know. <laughs> that, that's on purpose. You, uh, you talk like this. <laughs> you say I talk like a caveman. <laughs> I might play a caveman. <laughs> I have to study up on ship combat and on the ocean combat. <laughs> are you a pirate? No, but they are, apparently. We're going out to sea. <laughs> I'm sure we'll change it last second. You know what? <laughs> Remember to figure Let's out how much it costs to take a boat <laughs> and how oh, long it'll easy. take to, kick, to take a boat. That's all done. There's a new Unearthed Arcana actually about all... Boat you travel? Mm -hmm. About boats? About ah, boats. Ah, that could have been really Is it helpful. Boats and hose? <laughs> That'd be a really cool handout if they did something like that. Boats so and hose. boating and farming. Unearth <laughs> 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 uh... Arcana, boats and hose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, so again, there. thank you for playing. If you have any questions for me or anything you want to bring up. Time. They could have like prostitution, like stat lines, and like <laughs> different like tables you could roll for like sexual transmitted diseases. And I think I'm you're sure. broken. <laughs> uh, I think there is such a. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there was like there the one in 3.5. Right? I don't yeah, know if it made yeah. it to fifth edition. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I not. doubt sure it made it. I'm sure got a little more PC adapted it. it. Yeah. Oh, it's it's all third party anyway. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, Never mind. Yeah, the book of right. erotic fantasy is on your thinking. Yes, about. yes it yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, I've heard legends. It's PRC. Legends. Heard about yeah. It. Ridiculous. Yeah. I, I Come on, Thornbar, implement games. that into your game. <laughs> Eric. I'm in. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I should say Thornbar, I'm on the wrong way. Come on, Thornbar. <laughs> You're tired, obviously, like I said. I, I, I do that. <laughs> it's because your name says, like... Thornbur and then Eric in parentheses, so it's just yeah. automatic for me. You don't know Eric's his name, just or you're guy. just reading Who's his Eric? name. Yeah, <laughs> Thornbur's the important one. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, though. I, uh, I, I enjoyed uh, having Thornbur's world rocked. We love having was, uh... feelings. Feelings. Oh man, <laughs> so many feelings tonight. <laughs> and I, I want to see resolutions because obviously we're pretty broken right now. Who's going to yeah. fix all these? It's not cynical. I, don't know. I know cynical is a word, but I don't think it's the proper word for this situation. All these cynical kids. Pessimistic was a better word that yeah. Kevin was saying. Yeah, but I want to say something cooler than pessimistic. I don't know. Cynical is a little <laughs> jaded, maybe? maybe it's the same as cynical. <laughs> yeah. So much of the map, though. There's <laughs> so much of the map left. If you zoom out on this thing. I know. Oh, Are there like things for us to do everywhere on this map? Yes. Jeez, oh, that's insane. That's yeah. this, this if, thing if, is if it's not detailed option. in the book or in the in the thing, I detail it. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, it is truly a sandbox. Let's not get off track. Yeah. That, that's why <laughs> I say you know you can here. play this campaign forever if you really wanted to. <laughs> you can explore after the giants are done. Yeah, yeah Thornbrew's definitely laser focused on giants right yeah. now. But what I was trying to convey, um, at least in the last few sessions, when you've come across so much destruction, is that, um, you know, things are happening in the world that are outside your control, you know, mm -hmm. happen while you're away. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a consequence to, you know, not completing or not doing um, the main adventure. Mm -hmm. Because things are still happening that are, you know, towns are getting destroyed. Mm -hmm. The giants are fucking shit up. So, mm -hmm. and it seems like shit's getting a lot worse, right? Like, yeah, yeah. 
Yep. Let's go fuck up some giants. Let's deal with that shit. Fucking them up. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, Joe. Amen. It was a great set. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I will uh, yep. see you guys. Uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving. You yeah. as well. <laughs> Good Stay night, with your families, guys. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. All right. Peace. Good, Good night, night everyone. everyone. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night, guys.